All right, hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Let me know please if you have any problem from your side. Uh, today as usual, we talk about Islam and we debate Muslims if they are available. Now for sure, there's some Muslims, they keep saying they want to debate me, but they can't find me, which is very funny because I am almost every day here. It's very hard to find Christian Prince. I mean, Christian Prince, where are you? My Skype is open. Why you don't call me? Christian Prince, I called you many times. Uh, they call me after I finish my broadcast timing. Everybody knows why I do broadcast. Everyone. Now we have a guy, we have a we have Abdul. He keeps saying he wanna debate me, but I mean he is not getting lucky. He cannot find me. I mean, poor guy. What we can say. Um so we gave him a, a message. And I hope he will call us now uh, today <clears throat> uh, let me put this picture in front of your eyes okay now let us see here okay here that's better Today, actually not today, yesterday, not yesterday, even the day before. You know, uh, we know that uh, uh, David Wood, he made a debate with uh, this guy, his name is Hijab. The Muslims, the Muslims who do the those things, obviously they are doing business. Those people, they are not defending Islam. And you know, by the way, I made the videos, two videos. They are in the link down in the info. Please click on them. And watch them and share them with your friends download them share them everywhere you want you would die laughing at what he's called it's called the uh, debaters you muslims the first one you should watch it and see why we laugh at islam your friends who de who defend islam is one of the major reasons for us to believe islam is a cult right away In the same day, <clears throat> they finished the debate with David Wood, uh, Dawa, and Hijab. They made a video asking people for donation, claiming that they are the only two who can save the Muslims. Hundreds of thousands, they said, thousands, th thousands and thousands of Muslims left Islam. And they are the only one who can bring them back. And you must donate. Brother, you must donate right now. If you want to save Islam from Christian Prince, David Wood, all of those names, you know, and they claim that we are spending billions of dollars to attack Islam, you are right. I have a computer here. I have me. And I don't have the millions of dollars. <clears throat> neither David Wood. Neither Sam Shamoon. Neither uh, Osama Dakdok. All the names we mentioned, they are poor people. What those people are talking about it's not even seven hours after the debate they made a video begging for money they said to themselves hola we made the muslims happy today make fooling them make them believe that we won the debate the debate you made it was a mockery of your prophet the link is underneath i have two videos i encourage every muslim to watch it and see why those people they are making a mockery <clears throat> excuse me my voice is not good today uh, i wish i can play it for you here but they will they will, uh, they will say to me uh, you are using our video please uh, click at the links there is two links there they're in the in the info all right the first one and the second one i encourage you to watch them both and to save them and to share them in whatever you can twitter uh in um, youtube yeah, you know whatever you wish all right it's up to you where you want to have it now there we check your messenger what uh, who is who is not ahmed debate me 330 eastern and who said that I never send a message to debate. Another, another Ahmad. Who's another Ahmad? This is a kid. This guy he don't even dare to call me. He do he dare? 
anyway anyway you know class don't tell me I did not make any message I make a message the guy his name Abu Bakri is from Nigeria I put it a title for the video later I change it because it's not worth it uh, he keep begging me and uh, he's annoying so I wanted to get him busted that's all he will not call anyway all right Ah, uh, he made a video. Yeah, but he, he is the he is the same guy who called me uh, yesterday using a, vo a voice changer of a female. You remember? This guy is a, he's mental. You know, this guy he have a mental issue. Uh, he, this guy he he uh, he sent emails to Muslims. He want to beat them. He want to break their bones. He want to break the bones of uh, uh, Osama Abdullah and uh, uh, Zawadi. You know, those people are trash. I'm here. <laughs> You see, all of them, they want to debate me, but they cannot find me. All of them, they want to debate me, but they cannot find what is a Christian prince. Yeah. And two days ago, he called me using a voice changer of a female. When you see a person mentioning Nadir Ahmad, that means this is Nadir Ahmad. Nobody mentioned his name except him. This this guy is a kid. He have a mental issue. You know, when his when his wife she left him, I was in Pal Talk. She came to tell us about him. I bounced her too because she's obviously she's a trashy woman, the same as his. A woman she left her husband, even if her husband is a piece of garbage. Why you are going around telling what he used to do to you? None of our business. So he's a trashy person. Wh whoever around him, obviously, this is a it's a trashy a trashy people. I, we don't want those people to associate with us. However, he's a free to call. Now. Brothers and sisters, there is 160,000 Muslims left Islam. My name is Muhammad Hijab and my name is Ali Dawa. I encourage you to donate. There is a link right there or now, brother. There is a link. All we what we want, brother. We want we want a studio, brother. We want, I mean, what studio? A guy who go in a speaker corner. What, what do you mean? What do you want studio for? What studio? Speaker corner became a studio now. The business is growing. Not even eight hours after the debate is over, the both of them they make a video begging for money. Now, begging money or begging for money is not a big deal, but in you know, insulting their profit is a big deal. Watch the video and see how they insult their profit, making fun of Muhammad, those who claim they are defending Islam. Who of you remember? Uh, I, you know what? Just watch the video. I, I don't want to break the the comedy show for you. Watch the video. Have you ever heard of a god? Have you ever heard of a religion saying, "Allah, he you can lend Allah money. Allah, we will lend Allah money. How we can lend Allah money? Or you give it to Muhammad Hijab. Muhammad Hijab, his bank account is the bank account of Allah." Imagine they made a video saying, and he and he recites for us the verse with his ugly voice. You see, uh, when a Muslim recites Quran for us, usually they bring us a guy who have a nice voice to make you believe Quran is beautiful. You know, a nice voice, even if he sing a song about Bupu, even if it's about Bupu, the song will come nice because of his voice. When Muhammad Hijab recited the Quran, the Quran looked like sound like the book of the devil right away, and he was reciting for us the verses about Lind Allah Mani. Allah, woman, but for sure, if I sing the Quran, the Quran will sound good because my voice is not like his. Actually, I receive emails from Muslim women. You know, once a Muslim woman she sent me an email saying to me, uh, so what if your voice is so sexy? I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I mean, that is a lot of hate. I felt like she is going to jump from the email and come in my face. Do you want to kill me? So he recited the Quran with his sexy voice. Reciting a verse from the whole Quran is about begging for money. The verse is about begging for money. And we start today our broadcast with this. What kind of God? He say to his followers, I want to borrow money from you and I will double it for you. Many lady 
This is what Muhammad Hijab and Ali Dawa they are quoting for us from the Quran and they are singing for us. Chapter 2, verse number 245. Do you Muslims believe that there is a God we can lend him money? And that account is the account of Muhammad Hijab and Ali Dawa? Is that right? So now if I give $100 to uh, Ali Dawa and Muhammad Hijab, the money will go to the bank account of Allah? Hello? Hello? Any Muslim he wish to call, please call. I want Muslims only. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Who is the Muslim want to explain to us why if we why Muhammad Hijab asking the Muslims to give him money and he claimed that this is a loan for Allah? How the account of Muhammad Hijab became the account of Allah? Imagine if a Christian prince he said to the Christians, Hey Christians, if you donate to me, you are donating to Allah. Oh, oh you are sorry, you are donating Jesus to Jesus. Uh, this will go in the bank account of Jesus, brother. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> what a scam. What a scam. Not even eight hours after the debate with David Wood, they start asking the Muslims for money. They said, you know what? We make the Muslims happy because we made a mockery. So let us ask them for money immediately before it's over, before they forgot what we just did. And what you did, you just insulted your prophet. I encourage again everybody watching this video to click at the info. We have two links. It is in uh, Google Drive. It's easy to share, easy to download. I advise you to download, not just to share. Download, keep it in your computer, share it in YouTube, uh, post it again, do whatever you wish with it. And see how those clones, they insulted their prophet. It's a priceless, actually. This debate is a priceless. You see, maybe uh, David Wood is not in their level of mockery. He don't know how to deal with those Middle Eastern. Uh, but the mockery happened not to David Wood. It happened to Islam. They insulted Muhammad badly. This is a priceless video. This is why when I saw it, you know, I wasn't going really to watch this video. But then I said, let me, you know, take a peek. I did not even uh, uh, listen to what uh, David Wood will say. I just uh, scrolled uh, the video where this guy, he started talking. And the second I start hearing him, I said, this is a priceless. And I downloaded the video immediately before they take it down. My friend, the game of Arabic and Hebrew, this guy himself, he don't speak Hebrew. And he do not know anything about Hebrew. You remember he said that Elijah, I mean, God is with us. I mean, oh, who, who is the stupid fool who taught you that? You can search in Google two seconds. It's going to show you that this is stupid. He was making mockery of David Wood. He said, don't, 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 I know, I know, I know. I'm going to teach you. You know, you don't know Hebrew. You do not know Arabic. And supposedly he knew. And the guy who knew Arabic, he said that Allah, he pray for, he don't pray to. You see how stupid they are? The second you say Allah, he pray for, who cares if he pray for or pray to? At the end of the day, the second you pray, it's mean you are praying. I pray for you, but at the end, I'm praying to who? Praying to God. <laughs> so he's trying to shut up David Wood. He said, ah, come on, you know, you do not know Arabic. It says Salah, yeah, Allah pray. This is why the, the translator, he said, he pray for, not pray to. And supposedly now he fix it. In, in the Middle East, we say, he tried to make it, he, he tried to put eyeliner, but he made, it, he made it blind. You know what I mean? He tried to make Islam with eyeliner to make it more beautiful, but he made Islam blind. Make Islam stupid. You just told him, you just, you just agreed with him that Allah pray, because who cares if he pray for or pray to? Are you guys listening? When we as a Christians, and this is what David would say to him, we as a Christian, we are we are people who believe in the Trinity. So the Son, He speak to the Father. Now Allah, He speak to who? Allah pray 
for Muhammad but to who if I say to now now I will pray for you but I am not praying I am praying for you which means for your benefit but at the end I have to pray to somebody else who is going to do the benefit for you and that is God this is how we stupid their argument and they think by being comedian and the Muslim you see because the the majority in, the, in that uh, place they are uh, uh, they are Muslims. So whatever he say, hey, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. It's the same as Zakir Naik when they ask him, uh, brother, how come in Islam, a woman, she asked him, how come in Islam, the woman, she will not have hur while the man, he will have 70 hur. He said, brother, in the Quran, that don't know the word of the hur. First of all, the word hur, it is a plural name. It is not a male or a female. What the heck? The word hur is not male or female? And 10,000 people there, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. The Quran says that they did not lose their human. Nobody did have sex with them. What are you talking about? The Hur in the Quran, Allah described, described their vagina. And you are saying to us, they can be male and female? Not a single Abdul there to say to him, "What you idiot, what are you talking about? This is against the Quran. You see, in Islam, whatever you say, Sponsoring Islam, the Muslims, as long as you sponsor Islam, they will say, Allah, Akbar, thank you very much. Perfect, perfect. All right. Now, how many of you click at the links down below, by the way? Guys, how many of you? Did you click? We have two links there. Please don't forget to download them. <clears throat> now, please, brother and sisters, there is 160,000 Muslims left Islam, and brother Ali Dawa and Muhammad Hijab will bring them to Islam by making fun of the Prophet and say whoever believed that Allah have parts is a stupid. This is what Hijab he said in the debate, and the Muslim were clapping to him like a crazy. It is your stupid Prophet who said Allah have parts, you idiot. It's not even the scholars. You see, David Wood, he made a mistake. When he said the scholars, it is not the scholars. The scholars, they quote what Muhammad said. What supposedly Allah said, because this is in the Quran and in the Hadith. So when this guy, he made fun of whoever believed that Allah have parts, he's making fun of his prophet. I made, I made um, a video down there. Click in it, please, and share it. Uh, my friend Amir, Christian by choice, please don't don't block the Muslims if they say anything wrong. It's okay. Guys, please let the Muslims text. Please. If a Muslim says a Christianity is a paganism, why you want to block him? I mean, we are here to talk to them, right? Let us let us challenge the person. Don't block him. Don't do what the Muslims do. If a Muslim he says Christianity is a paganism, he let him prove it. It is you Muslims who kiss a black stone, go around the stone, bow in front of a stone, and you go and you do hajj all the way from the end of the world to the front of a stone, and you are talking about pagan? Show me where Jesus said, go and kiss a stone, go around the stone, lick a stone. Who is the pagan? Who is the Muslim there to speak about paganism? Is it your prophet? He said, the one who touched the black stone and the Yemeni corner, Allah will erase his sin. Since when stones, if you touch them, they erase our sin. Uh, please, guys, no, no Christian call. I will not take Christian calls for now. Forgive me. I want to take only Muslim calls. Actually, I opened today just for the Muslims. They claim they want to debate me, so I don't want to give them any excuse that, okay, I was trying to call and there is somebody was in the line. <clears throat> Only Muslims. Where is the Abdul who was taken about pagan? Are you so quiet now? Are you, are you going to play that a, a dead person? Who is the one who was kissing a stone? Is that the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him? And why the stone is in the shape of a vagina, my friend? Was that an incident? Was it a mistake? Hello? A brother, sister, the Christian. Are pagan brother, they are pagan people, but they're pagan uh, brother. But we uh, kiss the stone, brother. Yes, but brother, the kiss stone, the stone, uh, it is, it is, uh, it is a holy stone. 
do you remember guys there's a website it's called convert to Islam did I tell you the story I actually I recorded their chat at that time but I did not post it because it was showing my IP where I'm talking from uh, I asked the guy in the website assalamu alaikum as alaikum assalam. I said I have a question about uh, like about Islam I said okay my friend go ahead I said uh, um, Islam is the I'm trying to remember like you know it's just to open a conversation like is Islam the the good religion he said yes I said so why the prophet he kissed the black stone he said because it's holy I said to him why it's holy he said because he kissed it <laughs> hello hello yes uh, yeah, is it the Bible market this is what the Bible market market you know the Bible market I want to learn about that Jesus what Bible market what does that mean the be uh, uh, you don't you don't know the Bible market ma. Uh, the book holy book ma. my friend get me somebody speak English where, where those people come from what market anyone so I asked the guy why you Muslims kiss the black stone he said because it's holy I said okay why it's holy he said because the prophet cursed it I said why the prophet cursed it he said because it's holy <laughs> I mean makes sense it makes sense why we kiss the black stone because it's holy why it's holy because the prophet kiss it guys no Christian I uh, please please listen to me I don't want the Christians to call me please I want Muslims only today only Muslims today only Muslims 100% Muslim no Christian allowed to call me I'm hungry seriously hungry I want Muslims please 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 Who is a Muslim would like to call me? No, it's not a Muslim. I know the name. No, my friend, I see I saw his name. I, I know him. He called me always. This guy is, is a Christian guy. Do we have any Abdul? Who is Abdul would like to call me? Hello? I have been blocked out from the chat. You have a dirty mind. Don't talk about dirty mind, my friend. The dirty mind is yours. Isn't it your prophet? He promised you in the heaven he will give you an endless penis and the penis will never sleep. Do you think this is a dirty mind or a clean mind? Here we go. This is the hadith, brother. Read with me, please. I will find it for you. Muhammad taken an oath. And you know, Muhammad, when he takes an oath, it's means serious. Must be true. There is no one whom Allah will admit to paradise, but Allah will marry him to 70 two wives two from the Huris and 70 from his inheritance from the people of hell all whom have a desirable front passages why this guy is calling me let me see Do you see it, my friend? And then your prophet continues saying, and I am the one scoring now to see what he want. Why is calling? I'm calling you now, answer. Okay, now he don't want to answer. Okay. Please, the Christian people don't call. I called you just to see why you are calling, keep calling. Please, only Muslims. Allah will go to the warehouse of hellfire 
Oh, now we have a Muslim. Hold on. Where is the guy? Call me again, Muslim. Hmm. I'm calling him now because he called me. Uh, he dropped the the call. Oh, what's happening here? Why not, not even one call is working? Call me, call me, Abdul. Call me. So Allah will go to the hell hellfire, and He will bring you all the prostitutes. Those who they are, why they are coming from the hellfire? Those are bad women, who they used to work as a prostitute, but they have a unique experience of sex, and they have nice and desirable front passages their breast and their vagina look so good and then Allah he will he will give every Muslim I have a male a male member you see here they are being nice same male member in Arabic it doesn't say that my friend it says the word D hmm? mashallah mashallah this is how prophet talk to be honest with you I mean this obviously this is a prophet talking this is not a guy in the street this is not a guy who is taking too much hashish. This is must be a prophet of God and his name is Muhammad. It's obvious. So Allah will give you your D and is never will brother good news brother your D will never uh, go uh, become uh, flaccid. You know imagine you have all those women but your uh, is not working. What you want to do pump air on it? And you are talking about dirty mind. Are you there, Abdul? Mr. Amir? Mr. Amir, are you there? Hello? And you know, maybe why those Muslims, they were saying, if you lend Allah money, maybe, ah, now I know. Okay, you give him money, he give you Viagra. You give money to Allah, you put it in the bank of, uh, account bank of hijab and Ali Dawa. And Allah, He promised you in return this 72 whore, and He will bring you the best of hellfire women who they are prostitute. Can any Muslim tell me why Allah will bring women from the hellfire? Why, why they are coming from the hellfire? Hello? Hello? Yeah, guys, why you are getting time out by moderator? Uh, Mr. Stacks, why you don't call me? Why you keep posting in text and being annoying like a, like a little child? What about you give me a call, my friend? <clears throat> Tell me what do you want to say? You don't have like a, your mom, she said to you, don't call Christian Prince, something wrong will happen to you if you do. Christian don't follow their own religion. Swine, wine, fornication. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Look, 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 look what this guy he said. I really appreciate the Muslims. I like the Muslims. Look what this guy he just admitted. He just said something priceless. He said, He said, You said, not me, Amir. You say that we do not follow our religion if we do the following swine, wine, fornication, adultery, etc. In Islam, all those things, including eating swine, is allowed. Do you want do you want to challenge me? Fornication is allowed, prostitution is allowed, muta is allowed. I mean, you name it. Having sex with, with your own child from your own wife, from your own woman, the, the girlfriend, which means not even your wife, is allowed. And the biggest fornicator in the history is Muhammad. Do you want to challenge me? Hello? So thank you for saying that in Christianity, those things are not allowed. But yes, there are some people don't follow. I agree with you, but how you follow a Muhammad who is a person who broke all those things a black stone kisser child molester ch child with a file a, 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 a thief cheater gay uh, Even he said uh, when he, his cousin he came to meet him. He said Regarding my cousin he did if whatever of me I challenge any Muslim to explain to me how Ibn Ammi قد هتك عرضي. For those who speak Arabic, they knew what I'm talking about. Maybe Hijab can call us and tell us what's happening. 
Do we have any Muslim? In Christianity, we don't have paganism like your prophet. We don't have a child molester like your prophet. You see, you say to us, there's a priest, is a child molester. He is being like Muhammad. This, is, this guy is a Muslim. Any priest who practices such a thing, he is being a perfect Muslim. Anyone, you are the one who said that. Anyone who don't follow Jesus is no Christian. So if I do what Muhammad do, I am a Muslim. Correct? You see, Miss Tax, you have to prove it, my friend. Call me and prove that Christianity is dirty. We have a prophet. He is promising you an endless penis, and a penis will never go flat, even if you shoot a bullet on it. Let us see who is the dirty. Why you don't dare to call? What do you say? Any Muslim have the courage? We are not we are not uh, quoting stories from our own. This is your books. You see, the Muslims each time we show them something, the, their prophet he said they say it's a lie, brother. This is a, this is a fabrication, brother. This is daif. This is daif, daif, daif collected by you, recited by you, printed by you, published by you, and given to us by you. And yet you say to us it is daif. Who is the daif here? Islam is daif. If all of those stories are fabricated, why you are printing it and publishing it? Why? Why you preserve it? Why you preserve it for the last 1400 years if it is a lie? Hello? Hello? Who is the Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge to debate me. We accept all kinds of Muslims, even if you are so small like Ali Da'wah and Muhammad Hijab. We take from mosquito and above. So it doesn't matter your size. I know that size is matter in Islam. I understand. As you see, Muhammad, he promised you an endless penis. For me, I don't care really for. You want to debate me? We the love, the devolved. You are a Muslim devolved? Are you Muslim, my friend? If I am you, I will not debate me. I will tell you a true story, but don't tell anyone, please. Once I decided to debate myself, I was bored. And I was begging for hours for somebody to debate me, and nobody called me. So what I did, I hang up, I put a mirror in front of me, and I start debating myself. I lost. I lost. Don't do it. I'm telling you. Well, if you don't believe me, hey, call me. I'm here. Why well, you don't call me? Hello? Hello? For those who just join us in the video, please don't forget to click at the video down in the info. I made two videos, Getting Those Abdul Busted. You will die laughing. It's a comedy show. Don't forget to download them, please, and share them around. Who is the Muslim who would like to call us live? We are getting emotional. No, I don't get emotion. I am the same as the Prophet Muhammad. We care only for sex, brother. In the heaven, brother, there's no emotion. Allah will create for us 80,000 women. They have no emotion. And even the Prophet, he said, they will not even have jealousy, which means they are like sex toys, like a machine. Have you ever heard of women are created and they have no jealousy? What is that? Because Allah will kill your nerves. He will make you just a flesh sex toy. Is that right? Do we have any Abdul? Hello? Hello? Muhammad, he was the last prophet. Actually, I agree Muhammad was the last prophet. I have to admit. You know? I mean, if Muhammad is not the last prophet, how he knew, how he knew that if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy, and if the women have orgasm first, will baby be a girl? If I get married one day, I will never have orgasm first because I don't want my son to look like me. 
I don't want him to play me to like why you why you did that? Why you did that to me, Dad? What I did? Look, you have orgasm first, and look, I look like you now. Like what a horrible thing. So I will not, I will be sure to follow the advice of the Prophet Muhammad, who he said that if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy, and if a woman have an orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. And by the way, this is scientifically proven to be true. There is a scientist uh, from Japan. His name, his name is Yama. I do orgasm. Yama. This is his name. I mean, don't laugh, please. This is this is the true story. This this scientist, who his name Yama, I do orgasm. Yama. He spent his life studying orgasm and the influence of orgasm in making babies. And with the conclusion, after reading the Prophet Hadith, he confirmed the scientific fact. The Prophet he said. Let us see. <clears throat> Hmm. Uh, let us see, Abdul. Oh boy, I mean, look at the science. Each time I see this, I like it's like astonishing. I feel like I want to study science. I feel like I am I am like elementary school again. I feel like I'm five years old, just learning science from the amazing Prophet Muhammad. Hmm. Yeah, Hebrew expert who said that the word Elijah means God is with us. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah, the the the. You see, your hijab. He is lucky. He's speaking to a polite guy like David Jude. If I was there, I will make you all of your Muslim shish kebab. He's just polite. He's not trying to go down to your level. But you people are a bunch of idiots. How dare you to give him even a clap, you idiot, when he say that Elijah mean God is with us. What kind of a donkey you are clapping for? Not even one of you, he says to him, like, what are you doing, man? You 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 just you just mock him for not speaking Hebrew, neither Arabic. But you not you do not know Arabic and you do not know Hebrew because he made a mistake in the same moment. He said that Elijah mean God is with us, and he said when David would ask him about Allah praying, he said David would. <laughs> I know it. I know it. I will teach Arabic. <laughs> I will give you free Arabic lesson today. <laughs> you see, the translator said, Allah pray for Muhammad, not pray to. Come on, Amaha. Come on, David. I thought 20 years you came with this. Look how stupid he is. He just confirmed what David Wood was saying to him. David Wood was not saying Allah praying to. David Wood, he was saying to him, Allah pray for Muhammad. So he confirmed what David Wood he said, saying to him, Yes, Allah, he pray for Muhammad. The second you admit that Allah he pray, you just confirm what David would accuse your God to be. How he can be God, but yet he pray for. He pray for who? For Muhammad. To who? So you Muslims are praising an idiot who is who smash your prophet. Watch the video down there. I made a video for you Muslims, especially for you Muslims. You will make you ashamed of this guy because he was mocking your prophet. I wish I can play it here. But I know he will complain. He will say he took my video. He said, David would, he said, <laughs> he said, the scholars say Allah have parts. <laughs> what scholars? <laughs> and the Muslim like, <laughs> what scholars? Brother, what scholars? What? What, what, what? What scholars? Abdul, it is not the scholars who said that. It was your prophet. You are making fun of your prophet. It is your God who said Allah have parts. The Quran say Allah have face, Allah have hands, Allah has shin. Your prophet explain and he confirm. And then the scholar agree. And you are making fun and mocking whoever believe in that. You mock your prophet. Because it's your prophet who taught that. It's your God who taught that. In the video down below, the one I posted for you, in the info of the video of this broadcast, you will see 
every well-known scholar in the internet confirming what David Wood said and confirming that Muhammad Hijab is making a mockery of his prophet. He laughed at David Wood for saying Allah has a part, which means he is laughing at anyone who believes in such a thing, which means he is laughing at his prophet. When you laugh at the idea, regardless if the one who asked you the question is David Wood or not, when you make a mockery of the idea that Allah has hands and Allah have feet and Allah have parts, and then we find that the one who believe in that and the one who taught that is your God and your prophet, you are making mockery of your God and your prophet, not in David Wood. Hello. Hello. How are you, my friend? I'm okay. What do you want to say to us today? Are you listening? No, I'm listening. I'm listening. I've been hearing what you're saying. Allah has two hands. You saying all of that? Yeah. What What do you say oh, about uh, this guy Hijab? He's making mockery for ever who believe in Allah has parts. No, he says in the Quran, least committed you say. That is not the question. Yeah. The question is, do Allah have physical parts? Yes or no? Allah, I can't say. My but friend, my friend, not, I, I want an answer. No, no, but, 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 but tell me. Do Allah have hands? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Allah knows best. He says no. Don't, no, no, don't, don't tell says. me you are a liar. Allah, don't tell me Allah knows best. Either you say yes mm -hmm. or you say no. Say that again. What was the question? Do, do you Muslims believe that Allah have a physical parts like hands, feet, fingers, foot, etc.? Do he have? Yes or no? Not physical, but he, he said, yes, two hands, yes, face, yes. He says, so what, what yes, do you mean not physical? They are virtual hands? Are they physical or virtual? Yeah, we're not told. And then after he said, what do you mean not told? No, no, what, what do you mean not told? All the scars, I can search right now, and there's hundreds of videos made by Muslim scholars explaining how the hands of Allah are, including Zakir Naik, including Big Shakes. Why you are not being honest? Zakir Naik, who is he? Zakir Naik is a stupid. No, you, he's, he's not hurt of us. Okay. Well, what about if we show you something from Al Bukhari? Yeah, you can show me there. Okay. Let us see. But then I have, to, I have a question for you as well. Yeah, always you have a question for me. Hmm. I have a question because I read somewhere my, my that friend. Jesus, my that friend. Jesus is gonna shave our private parts and our and our heads in Isaiah seven twenty. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Jesus will shave private parts. Read me, Abdul. Hey, okay, no, you can lying. say whatever. You, people, people are laughing already. You see, I did not say anything. People are laughing. Read with me carefully. Yes. I'm a, I read, read, ca read carefully with me. The prophet said, the people will be thrown into the hellfire and it will say, are there any more to come? Chapter 5, verse number 30. Tell Allah he put his foot over it and it will say, Kati, Kati. Kati Kati, not Kati Kati. What's wrong with you? Kati Kati. Yeah, look like a cat, you know. Kati Kati. Kati Kati. Enough, enough, man. Yeah, Kati Kati. Okay. So now, wh why you say to me that Allah don't have a physical part when Allah He will put His foot, His physical foot, and even the fire will scream because the the the, the foot of Allah is very heavy. So basically, what you're trying to say is Allah has got physical parts. My like friend, my friend, why you are playing games? Why Muslims do, are not honest? I am not saying it's that. It's your prophet. Are you making fun of your prophet? Is your prophet is saying that? Not me. Is it me who's saying that or your prophet? Who is the one who's talking there? Narrated by Nas the Prophet. Okay, so why you are saying to me, are you saying? No, I'm asking your argument. You just I am not arguing. It's your prophet. He said to me, I am reading what you your prophet point, said. You your prophet you said you that Allah, he have a foot. Do Allah have a foot? Yes or no? According to this hadith, yes. Okay, so why you say to me, no, we don't believe in that? I said we don't believe in physical. It doesn't say physically. So is that well, a is that a physical foot or it's a virtual no, no. foot? No, it's, it's not. It's not the way you think your foot is and Allah's foot. Don't tell me. I think you think either you say it's physical or you say it's virtual because there's no two options. Either it's real it's foot, physical, physical no, or I don't physical. care how it look like. By the way, it might look like a chicken. It might look like a donkey. It might look like a, what? Just it doesn't like, matter. So like do, Jesus, yeah. do he have do he have a, a real foot or it is not real? Well, it's, it's not the physical foot. No. How what is your proof? What do you mean? What's your proof? Lace committee shake. 
to uh, uh, my finger has nothing like it according to science there's no two fingerprint in the whole world like my finger does that mean my finger is god you were you want to worship my finger nothing like my finger you keep saying to me nothing like allah this is something you took from the old testament nothing like god so they keep we keep repeating the same nothing like god 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 okay nothing like christian prince can you find me someone who's like christian prince you will not find so does that mean i'm god yes i can i can find you you cannot you cannot you're a liar you cannot you cannot you cannot there is even even if you are a person from your father your father is not the same as you your dna is not exactly the same so stop lying how you say to me that this is not a real foot of Allah? I can play for you right now tons of video in YouTube. Muslim scholars explaining saying it is a physical foot. Oh, show me. I'm not going to play it for you. Here we go. I will search on YouTube. Hold on, mm. and you play it because mm. they, I don't want them to to uh, to. Uh, actually, here we go. I will show you. you. Click at the link there in the info of the video. There's a link. Google Drive. Who's speaking? Who's speaking? Huh? Scholars, your scholars, I don't care for their names. I don't care. Your scholars explain to you, teaching in Islamic school, university, meeting, TV, teaching you that Allah have a face, Allah have a head, and yes, he have a foot, and he have even five fingers. No, they're not hujjah for me. Sorry. Who, okay, who, so who is the hujjah for you? The one who's talking is your prophet. They are, it's not, the, it's not yeah. them who's talking. It's not them who's talking. The Quran. Huh? The Quran and the Sunnah. The Quran and the Sunnah. And okay, the let me ask you a question here. I want you to look at this. You never asked my question, but I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. We are not done, Abdul. What your question? You don't have a question. You are, Isaiah you, you are being That's stupid. No one says anyone will oh, shave okay. a pride apart. You are being stupid. I, I don't I don't want to listen well, to stupid is... things. You, you don't, don't be dumb with me. Don't be dumb. Everybody is laughing at you. Don't be dumb. You know, you yeah. know that no Jew, no Christian, no no one in the world believe in what you are saying. It's a stupid, it's garbage. Lying. You can if you I'm can lying, explain it the I'll way you want. You are, you are being just a donkey like your prophet. We don't believe in such a thing. It's not exist. It's not okay, exist. It's not exist. Stop being a liar. Shame on you. I'll put it, I'll put it on the Shame on I'll you. Check it. It's not, check it, it doesn't say that you're a liar. You, it doesn't say Why that. You, you want to you wanna read anything, go to a Christian commentary and you will see what, they, what, it, what, what it meant by that. You see, when I say I to you, that. when I say to I you, when I say to you, Abdul, that in your religion it says that I go and see what the Muslim commentary about it. I don't go to a Christian one to explain it. I check, I check the commentary. Okay, says, uh, okay, Jesus check the commentary. The what it says. Okay, read, read for me the commentary about it. Read it. Go ahead. Post for us the link of the commentary so we can read with you, and, ev and everybody will laugh at you. If you can't find me one commentary saying that we will shave the leg of God and the private part of God, I'll. Abdul, 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 I want you to promise me something. Okay, let me, let me finish. I want you to promise me something. No, no, wait, 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 wait. If you can't find me one Christian commentary saying, hold on, shut up, shut up. I'm going, I'm going to get you busted. I'm going to get you busted right now. If you can't find me one Christian, shut up, son of Muta, shut up. If you can't find me, if you can't find me one Christian commentary saying what you claim, huh? I will open the camera, I will do the monkey dance. If there is none. You will open the camera and you will do the monkey dance. Do you agree? Are you scared to read the Bible? Do you agree? Do you agree? So you are making your own false accusation, saying that this wow. is a Christian commentary. He says you look to shave Otherwise, his head show me, uh, show me, show me where the Christian say that God will shave his private part. Show me to me. It says, it says in the Bible. So you are a scam like you're a prophet. All of you are a scam. Not even a I single say, Muslim of you. You see, you make your own fabrication interpretation you make your own fabrication quotation you make your fabrication claim and you cannot prove it here here abdul shut up son of muta i have no time for kids get lost when you want to debate me don't be like the same as muhammad hijab who say things we cannot prove it either you prove it or shut up we don't explain the quran to muslims as we wish we open Ibn Kathir for them. We open Al Qurtubi for them. We open the Jalalay for them. And whatever it says there, we go with it. You Muslims, you follow a scammer. His name is Muhammad. So you try, you give your own interpretation, your own imagination, fiction, lies. You know that no Jew believe in that and no Christian believe in that. So why you are making false accusation? When you debate somebody about his religion, you debate him about what he believe, not what you think. When I say to you, Muslims believe 
that Allah have physical parts and you know that and you are a liar you said to me we don't I can prove it in two seconds I will go right now to YouTube in the front of everybody I will type Allah has hands look what I got Sheikh Faiz, how are you, Sheikh Faiz? His hand is up. Do you see his hand? Do you see the hands of Sheikh Faiz? Huh? Allah SWT has two hands. Zakir Naik, how Allah hands will be? Does Allah have two hands? And the guy explained to you, yes. Allah has hands, mouth, heels, fingers, shin, even shape. Do you see it? <laughs> <laughs> you see when we say something we prove it we don't make a false accusation a Muslim before he said to me the same as you said stupid Muslims Jesus he said drink my piss what 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 what, what Jesus said drink my piss where Jesus said that he said the one who drink my my water he will never be thirsty <laughs> What a stupid kids do you see why I want adult to debate me but sadly look at them they are a bunch of kids we uh, Allah no Allah don't have a foot it's not uh, physical I have a debate Abdul with highest Islamic scholars not like you potato the head of the Islamic Center in Tennessee dr. Nabil Bayekli he admit that Allah is a physical being the Imam Malik Saur, the Imam of the Mosque of Tennessee, it is in the internet, it's in YouTube. He admitted that the Allah, yes, he is a physical being. Yes, Allah has fingers, Allah has hands, Allah has foot, Allah has shin. But he said to me, do you think his hand is like yours? I don't care if it's like mine. Who care? But you just say that he have a, he's a physical being. When we asked Dr. Rohi just two weeks ago about how Allah looked like, what is Allah? He do not know. He said Allah. The word Allah means worship something. <laughs> Brother and sister, what does it mean? Allah has hands. Shabir Ali. Allah have face. Allah have eyes. The face and the hands of Allah. Abu Ibrahim Hussein Hussein. Do you see it? Sheikh uh, uh, Hamza Yusuf, Allah hands. What is the shape of Allah? Allah SWT has a foot. I don't know what the size of his size. My size is 44, 45. The bent in the maker, 45. Huh? Allah has a foot. Uh, Allah has hands. Allah has a finger. <laughs> <laughs> you see they lie they deny because they knew that it is a stupid religion what they have you see a true muslim who is a proud about his god he don't feel ashamed he will not feel ashamed to say okay my god have hands so but because they knew it's funny they the only way is to deny it this is what this guy uh, uh, what his name the, the 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 comedy guy uh, uh the one who is begging for money you know give allah alone uh da'wah and hijab hijab this is why when david would ask him saying to him that allah has part he said uh, he said the scholars say that what scholars i mean all those scholars are not scholars what scholars al bukha your prophet your prophet your allah said that they are making mockery of their god and their religion just in order to make themselves look like they are defeating a question and right away uh, <clears throat> before even the debate finish they made a video begin Muslims to make donation and they told them there's 160,000 left Islam. How many? 160,000 left Islam. 160,000? What do you mean? This is not true. 
this is a very small number what 160 number you know i think just listening to me i, I think maybe a million or two or three or four or maybe the prophet muhammad in his grave left islam already i heard that the prophet of islam he denounced islam Well, this is what the what this is what the Quran says, you know. The Quran is the mother of, of the of the books. But you see, I can I take I can take things metaphorical way. But the problem is the Muslim believe that the Quran is not created. And this guy, the Abdul Muhammad Hijab, he said that everything will be destroyed. Uh look what he said, just to show you how this guy is a is a kid. The, the Muslim, by the way, they will torture him soon. I made already three videos, four videos for him. Watch until all the Muslim this video spread around, and you will see how the Muslim they will spit at him because he was making fun of of Muhammad. Uh, look what he said. He said that the Quran will be destroyed. The Quran will be destroyed. And he quote for us this verse in the Quran. Okay. So everything will be destroyed. But this verse is speaking of what? That everything on earth will be destroyed. He said the Quran will be destroyed. If you search right now, you will find that the Quran is one of the attribute of Allah. One of the attribute of Allah how you say that the Quran will be destroyed if it is one of the attribute of Allah in order to destroy the Quran you have to make the Quran created because only what is created can be destroyed if the Quran is non created and it is one of the attribute of your God then by destroying it you are destroying the attribute of your God do you see the title here in the in the in the website the attribute of Allah is eternal. Muhammad Hijab in his video, you can go watch it again and laugh. He said that the Quran will be destroyed. To destroy what is attribute. And by the way, in the same video, Muhammad Hijab admit that the Quran is one of the attribute of Allah. Just to show you how stupid they are. And the Muslim like, hey, brother, Allah Akbar. And they are laughing supposedly like, you know, this guy is bringing victory. Hey brother, Allah Akbar. <laughs> yeah, David Wood, he don't know what talking about. <laughs> David Wood. <laughs> brother, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. You did beat him, brother. The Quran will be destroyed, brother. You are right, you are right. The Quran. You stupid. You just destroy Allah. How in the same line you say that the Quran is one of the attribute of Allah, and then you say the Quran will be destroyed. How you can destroy the attribute of Allah? Any Muslim can tell me? How we can destroy the attribute of Allah? They cannot. You see, uh, uh, M Stacks, I gave you a chance to call us, but you don't want to do that. Just get lost. I told even the admin not to block you, but look like you are a donkey. Any Muslim can tell us how the Quran is one of the attribute of Allah, yet we can destroy it. Allah will destroy his own self, self, self destruction. How you can do that? That is the most stupid argument you Muslims can even hear. You Muslims should attack this guy, expose him, not physically, attack him for his was said for such a statement because the second you say that the quran will be destroyed it's mean you admitted that the quran is created for only what is created will be destroyed when you say that the quran will be destroyed you admitted that the quran is not one of the attribute of allah which is refused by all muslims Who is the Muslim? He said to you that the Quran is not eternal. You see, look at the question here, guys. Was the Quran created or eternal? Do you see the question? Do you see the question in this article? Was the Quran created or eternal? Which means 
if the second you say it is a created it's mean it is not eternal I think it's a clear right so it have to be one of two either it's a created or eternal all Muslims agree that the Quran is not a created and I can show you tons of fatwa actually you will be killed you will consider be apostate if you believe the Quran is a created one of the caliphate, he slaughtered a big scholar in the mosque in the day of Adha, in the mosque, just for be, he believed, he, he make a speech believing that the Quran is created. So the second you believe that the Quran will be destroyed, that's mean, Muhammad Hijab, don't believe that the Quran is eternal and the Quran is not created. That's mean he's not a Muslim. How you Muslim you sponsor such a man? He's making fun of your religion. And my coming video, by the way, will be about this topic, about the Quran, according to Muhammad Hijab, is going to be destroyed and it is not eternal. And I challenge any Muslim to find me one Muslim agree with him. I challenge Shabir Ali to make a video and to say I agree with him. They will not dare. No Muslim would dare to say what this guy said. This guy is an idiot. It's a bunch of kids. They do not know what they are talking about. Literally, bunch of kids. They think they are defending Islam, but the fact they are humiliating their religion. Thank you for those who are making donation. But I remember, Christian Prince, he cannot promise you heaven as Muhammad Hijab. If you want to go to heaven, he recites the Quran for you and he says, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Give Allah your money so you can go to heaven. Me, me, me. He's singing Quran just to collect donation. The debate is not even four hours done. The two guys met together and they made a video asking the begging the money for money for, for, for donation and asked them to give Allah alone. Giving Allah alone. So I send money now to the account of Muhammad Hijab. This is the account of Allah. We are not the same as the Muslims. You see, there's a Christian here. They make donation. Huh? But I don't promise them heaven as your God and your prophet Muhammad and your hijab. In the video, you can go watch it. Those guys are promising you to go to Jannah. Brother, sisters, we need your support, the brother and sisters. Give Allah alone. And he recite for us the Quran. Which verse he recited? Huh? Do you know what verse he recited? This one. Woman, the lady, you worried Allah. And I just I don't. Uh, if I sing it, or well, my voice is going to come nice. Go and listen to Muhammad Hijab singing. It looked like a sound of a donkey, literally. I mean, his voice is the most ugly voice ever I heard. In order to convince you that it is a holy duty to give him money, he is quoting for you Quran, is singing for you Quran. And by the way, what kind of God he need a mortgage? Any Abdul? Hello? God, he's asking for a mortgage? This is God, my friend. Who is he that will loan to Allah a beautiful loan? No. We accept all kind of currency, dollar, pound, even pesos. Allah. Loan? You are quoting something Muhammad he said to scam people to get their money. Saying to them that Allah he need a loan. By the way, did Allah pay the loan back or not yet? Hello. Who is he that will loan to Allah a beautiful loan? Hey, me, me, brother, me, me. How much you want? Hey brother, as much as you have, we take. Hey brother, when I'm going to have my money back? Hey brother, I guarantee you, you will never have it back. La la. Loan? 
Allah asking for a loan. Allah, Allah is begging for money. Have you ever heard of a God like this? And those speaker corners, they are quoting this verse to encourage the Muslim to give them a loan, which is donation for free. I mean, you would never have it back. Hey, by the way, guys, uh, Prophet Muhammad, yeah, he need to go to Las Vegas. Who want to give him a loan? Hello? Ah, you signed a contract with Sony to record my voice? Okay. Um, what about the background, the music, brother? Uh, because I am the same as the Prophet Muhammad. Sometime inspiration uh, come to me, uh, uh, the sound of a bell. Uh, that's because my brain is very healthy. Have you ever heard of a Prophet you receive? Inspiration in a sound of a bell. Ah, but I am different to be honest with you. I receive it as a Morse code. KGB, KGB. Christian Prince is with you. Allah, do you hear me? KGB, Putin, Putin. What? The Prophet here received his inspiration in a sound of a bell. And the Abdul is calling us saying that the Bible says that God will shave his private part. I'm convinced. I mean, you have something really heavy on me. Scary. Obviously, the God of the Jews, he will shave his private part. Hmm. And every Jew believe in that. Yeah. Who is next? Who is the Abdul when I call me? Guys, did you click at the link down below? There's two links, don't forget. There's two links in the drive, Google Drive. I made two videos. Don't forget, please, to download them, share them around, and laugh. But be careful. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. If any of you die from laughing, I am not responsible. If any of you gain weight because you attend my show and you get fat, I'm not responsible. Because according to science, if you laugh too much, you gain weight. I'm just letting you know. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. If you give Allah a loan and the money never come back to you, I am not responsible. Because I'm telling you, this is a scam. Thank you, guys. Thank you for, for the donation. Who is the guy who want to debate me? Anyone want to debate me? Who is the one who want to call me? Who is the Muslim? What is the guy from Nigeria? He keep begging me to call. What happened? Hello? A grand the Muzar Zor. Uh, come on, Abdul. I have it. Uh, uh, he's recording in YouTube. He said that the shin is the shin of a Christian prince. I asked your guy, your boy, he's the same as Muhammad Hijab, he's a stupid. I asked him about the shin of Allah. He said, This is your shin, Christian prince. Your guy, he insulted your God. He claimed that the shin, which is mentioned in the Quran, is my shin. So you Muslims worship my shin. Why you don't make him call me and recite to us what he said about that my shin is the shin of Allah? Any Abdul? All Muslims, by the way, I never saw a Muslim. He debated me and he did not destroy me. This is why I always I buy glue. If you go to Amazon.com, I show you my account. Number one things I buy is a glue. Each time I debate a Muslim, I glue myself together. Who is going to call us and destroy us? Any Abdul? Who want to give Allah alone? Who want to give Allah alone so he can go to heaven and Allah will make his private part the best between all the private parts? You know, to be honest with you, I'm thinking to consider this religion. I mean, look at this. Allah is very smart God. He will not only will provide you with women, he will bring you women from hellfire. Do you know how hot that is? Guys, do you know what how hot it is this is? I mean, this is really hot. Those women, they are coming from hellfire. You can imagine how much fire is inside them. And he is describing their breast and their vagina to be so hot. 
Look, look what he said. Allah, he will bring him 70 from the inheritance from the people of hell. Okay, what those 70? What is what is the qualification of those 70? Are they any can it, uh, 70? No, no, no. Will whom will have desirable front passes? Is, what does that mean? What does that mean? Nice nipples, nice, nice boobs, nice vagina. I mean, this is so beautiful, man. Hey Allah, what about the back? I mean, the, isn't the back important too? Should we focus only in the front? Is, is the back is the same as the front? Or so Allah will go to hellfire and he will look for the most hot playboy porn stars full of expertise. Resume, their resume is so good. If you open the resume of any one of those, you will see in the resume it says she have 1,000 pound boobs. 5,000 pound nipples Her vagina is so beep No comment This is God talking Abdul this is God talking I'm really convinced Hello Hello. You know, uh, uh, there's a hadith. I, I, I'll try to find it. Muhammad he promised Muslim women to be uh, seventy times more uh, beautiful in heaven. Seventy times more beautiful in heaven. Thank you, guys, for those who they are making donation. Really, I appreciate you. God bless. Let me explain to you how stupid the idea that you women will be seventy times more pretty in heaven. Let me explain to you. Let me go down. You know, I'm very good in mathematics, right? You know that I am born in Nigeria, uh, which is next to Brazil. You know, and we are, by the way, we are very good in geography too. This is why the Quran says, The two seas will never meet. Interpretation says the two seas is the two, the, the, the two seas where they met, actually. It is the Persian Gulf and the Mediterranean. What? How did, what would the Mediterranean have to do with the Persian Gulf? Only in the Middle East those things happen. So look what Muhammad he said. Uh, I will use uh, some uh, example for you so you can understand. Because you you are not Arab like me. We are very smart and you are slow. Sorry. And I'm not insulting, by the way, but we have to say the truth. I mean, just take it. So let us say we have three women. One, her name is Fatima. And the other one, her name is Asia. And the third one, her name, Potato. This is the unlucky one. Forget about the potato, written right or wrong, who cares? This is her name. I just gave her a name. So now let us assume that Aisha is Three times Fatima is a three times more pretty than potato. Okay. So this is the standard of pretty. This one is one. This one, this one is one. This one is two. Okay. Now the Prophet of Allah will make the three of them X70. X70. That means this one, X70. X70. And this one is X70. And this one is X70. Abdul. Did you notice how stupid your prophet? Nothing changed. Fatima is still three times more beautiful than potato. And Aisha is still twice more beautiful than potato. And Fatima is still more beautiful than Aisha. So what the point? Hello? So you were ugly in earth, the poor potato. She was ugly in earth. She is ugly in heaven. Who is the stupid here? 
Fatima is a 200 time 210 time more beautiful Aisha is 140 time more beautiful the poor potato she is still the less beauty she is 70 time more beautiful but nothing changed do you really believe in this and the women like so excited man I will be so uh, I will be 70 time more pretty oh wow will wow unbelievable brother but the sister, somebody asked me, what is the reward of a beautiful Muslim woman? Brother sister, all of us, we know that women, they like to be pretty. And this is the dream of every woman. Ask my wife as an example. The Prophet of Allah, he promised every Muslim woman, if he go to heaven, he will be 70 times more pretty. 70 times more pretty? Nothing changed, Abdul. Poor women, he's fooling you. If everybody will be 70 times more pretty, nothing change. Hello? You Muslims are so smart, I have to admit. I mean, this is genius. This is really, really genius. Look at Amir. Amir, he's saying, one plus one plus one, you all equal to one. Abdul, who is the one plus one plus one? Can you tell me, you idiot? Let me ask you then. Allah bless Ar Rahman bless Ar Rahim is one. The word bless the Ruh bless Isa is one. Who is the stupid here? Hmm? Hello. And masking fools. I have two links for you down in the info, my friend. Check them out. Who is the Muslim here when I debate me and Allah will make him 70 times more pretty? Thank you again for those who they are helping us with donation. Really appreciate you. Do we have any Abdul? Who is the Abdul when I call me and prove to me that we Christian believe that one plus one plus one is equal to one? I want to learn that mathematic from you. You Muslims, obviously, you are superior in mathematics, and the proof is the promise your prophet he made. Anyone? Hello? Any Abdul wanna call us? Who is a Muslim wanna call us? We Christian don't believe in anything is called one plus one plus one. It's you Muslims making your own stupid assumption. We Christian believe in one God, and you Muslim don't have one God. How Allah can be God, but He is two in the same time. The hadith, your prophet, he says that Allah will change his shape. What happened to the first shape? I will give you options. Allah, he put it in the garbage, he burned it. Allah, he shot it dead. Allah have two shapes. So now we have two Allah or one. Can you compile Quran and revelation order? My friend, even the Muslim do not know how, what is the Quran revelation order. There is there's thousands of assumptions about what came first. They do not know. As an example, if you go in the Quran, <clears throat> Some Muslims, scholars, I'm talking about scholars, not those stupid Abdul, you see in the internet. They say that chapter 96 is the first chapter Muhammad he received as a beginning. Chapter 96. It's a very short chapter. I don't know how they call it even chapter. It's like nothing. It's like somebody saying hello to somebody full of squeezing and violence so they say that this is the first chapter muhammad he received some they say no this is not the first one the first one was the following <sighs> oh 
Lord have mercy. Chapter 74, verse number 5. This is another opinion. All right. Uh, some they say no, not this one. It is this one. Chapter 93, verse number 7. So I can keep giving you forever what Muslims they claim. They don't know. It's a messed up religion. However, it doesn't matter which one started. All of them are funny. All of them, they prove to us that Muhammad and the Muslims claim about Muhammad is a lie. The Muslim, they say to us that Muhammad was following Abraham. How he was following Abraham and the verse says to us, Fahada. He found you lost and he guided you. Muhammad was lost. Look how they change the translation. They say, didn't he find you wandering and direct the what wandering? He was looking for GPS. Oh, did Muhammad miss the exit? What do you mean wandering? Where it says where it says he was who found you wandering. Dalan does not mean wandering. Dalan means somebody is lost, misguided. What wandering? When therein the prophet was wandering, and Allah gave him the GPS, Tom Tom. If you change the translation, you will see everything changed. Do we have any Abdul? Khan Sarbani. No, you do not need to debate me, my friend. Actually, I'm very thankful for you that are not calling me because, you know, each time a Muslim he call me, I really get scared. Even my mom, she told me, don't debate more Muslims because Muslims are very smart. Actually, it's a proven scientifically that Muslims are very smart, and I'll, I'll prove it to you. Look, the first verse in the Quran is what? By the glorious morning light, what? What is that? What, what does that mean? Who is swearing by the glorious morning light? What does that mean? And how this is number one, and then yet you say to me here, Bismillah. So, what is this? Is addition? Is that addition? Why this one is number one if this one here is not is there? Are you following, guys? The Muslim they say to us, we did not add a letter to the Quran. Well, if this is number one, this is number what then? Do you understand, guys? Who 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 don't understand me? If this is number one, which means number one verse in the in the in this chapter starts from this location. Okay, wonderful. This is number one. We got it. So this is what here. Addition. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Da, la la. Hello. Who's a Muslim would like to call me? One plus one equal to three. Yeah, that's true. One plus one is equal to one plus one plus one is three. That's true. That's true. I agree with you. Why you don't call me and explain to me, brother? I agree with you. One plus one plus one is three. Hello? Why you don't call us? And you look like you are very good in mathematics. I never saw a person. He is smart like you. He said one plus one plus one is a three. I thought it's four. Let me let me tell you, you know something. I noticed that you Muslims are smarter than your prophet because look what your prophet said. Your prophet in the Quran he said that Allah created the earth in six days. The earth and the heaven, actually, not the earth only, to be honest with you. All right. I need to turn the light on. I don't see the keyboard no more. It is your Lord 
who created the heaven and the earth in six days, brother? Abdul, do you agree that Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days? Or you don't agree? Do you agree? You see, as long as we are talking about mathematics, do you agree that Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days? Who is the Muslim agree with that? Hello? Who is the Muslim he agree with that? Because obviously you Muslims are very good in mathematics. Look what your prophet said. Your prophet don't agree with Allah. Your prophet, he said, the earth and the heaven created in seven days. Everything in earth and heaven created in seven days. <coughs> Hello? Yo. Yes, my friend, how are you? Yeah, bro. Why, why you keep trying shit, man? What's this? Oh, Muslims are this, Muslims are that. Why, why are you being Islamophobic? Uh, uh, my friend, uh, did you say the word shit? Huh? Did you say the word shit? Did, did you say the word shit? I was reading Quran, my friend. Why you are saying the Quran is shit? Same on you. Show respect to your prophet. Bro, you. I was, I was reading Quran. I was reading Quran. Look, 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 look. look. Seriously, I don't like this kind of language. We have to respect the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, please. Why you are saying this is shit? Why you are saying that? Don't use this language, my friend. My friend, my friend, my friend. Why? I asked you to call Muhammad Hijab. Did you call him about insulting the Prophet? Did you call him or not? Did you call him or not? He doesn't need to waste time with you, bro. You see, uh, you know, you must have you, you waste time. You don't dare even to talk to me. Here we go. You are calling me. You are listening to me. You are a liar. If you don't want to waste your time with me, why you are listening? Why you are here? Hypocrite. Just, you know, come, uh, come on, Abdul. Look, now let, let, let us fix this. You're a prophet. He said that Allah created the heaven and earth in seven days. Do you agree with your prophet or you accuse him to be a liar? This, what is one Do you agree one with him or not? Don't waste my time. I have many Muslims. They're standing in one leg waiting for me to take their call. It's your time now. Do I agree? Do you agree with Muhammad saying that Allah created the earth and the heaven in seven days? Yes or no? Yeah, no problem. Okay, but the Quran says six days. So which one is telling the truth? No, it does not. What does it not? The Quran says Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days. Nah, bro. You, you just you just like to chat and bear shit. My friend, yes, I, I, you keep saying shit. I'm talking about Quran. Here we go. The Quran says in front of us, chapter seven, verse number fifty-four, that Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days. Read it with me, brother. Nah, if, why don't you try coming speak a corner? My friend, you think I, I, I don't like corner. I like circle. To be honest with you, what does have to do with our topic? Why you don't answer? How you agree with your prophet that he said that Allah created the earth and the heaven? In seven days, when the Quran he hang up. They keep inviting me to speaker corner. I don't like corners. Can you make it circle? And look how they call me. Like they are like taking hashish. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was I thought like it's a cow talking to me or something. What what corner speaker corner? I mean, is that a job speaker corner? Hello. Be honest with you. Do, guys. Be honest with me. Do you like do you like our broadcast? Do you like it? Do you like this guy Christian Prince? Be honest with me, because you know. Let me tell you a secret. This is between me between me and you and YouTube and Facebook and Twitter. Just between us, you know. Uh, according to a scientific study in Japan, which was made carefully it says that the christian prince christian prince he know nothing and he cannot answer any muslim look at the text is going crazy what's happened to those guys take it easy in the text youtube will beat us i thank thank allah that youtube is not charging us for the text i will go bankruptcy easy man what is that Okay, thank you, thank you. I got it, I got it. Do we have any Abdul wanna call us? Do we have any Abdul? Mayday, mayday. Abdul is needed. You know, each time I say the word Abdul, once I was driving my car and I have a guy next to me. 
And I remember something I said in the chat room, and I start laughing. The guy look at me like, it sounds like weird, right? <laughs> like this guy might be crazy. Why is laughing? Like I'm not. We are not even talking. And I start laughing, but he didn't know. Like I remember, I remember the Abdul story. You know, uh, once I was in the Philippines and I was in the elevator, and uh, I was speaking in the phone in Arabic. So the the, the 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 Filipino Muslim he thought I am an, because I speak Arabic. He, they think all Arab are Muslims. So uh, he said to me, "Assalamu alaikum." So I said to him, "Assalamu alaikum, Abdul." He said to me, "Mashallah, you know my name." <laughs> he looked at me like his mouth is open, like what? Mashallah, you know my name. I said, yeah, sure, I know your name. <laughs> Absolutely, I know your name. <laughs> how you know my name? You must be a prophet. You know, that's like, it's a, how you know? His face, like his eyes is open, coming out like a frog. Mashallah, you know my name. All of you are Abdul for me. How he knew? That's crazy. How he knew my name? Maybe he got my credit card or something. Do we have any Abdul? Who is here from the Philippines? Do we have anyone from the Philippines here? Do we have anyone from the Philippines? <coughs> it's early morning there. Maybe they are asleep. Hello? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? You know, the guy who just called me, instead of saying to me that hijab, he have no time for me, my friend. You have a time for for David Wood. David Wood, you know, he's uh, he's an American. He do not know really. He don't have degrees in Islam. He, you know, he don't even speak Arabic. And that's why, this is why you Muslim, you choose to debate him so you can play the game of he don't speak, or speak Arabic, right? This is the whole idea. This is why you are debating him. Just because you want to say that, just for a mockery. When you call me, you say to me, you don't speak English, but a Christian prince, your English is funny, brother. Rado, you are a Filipino. How are you, my friend? I love Filipino people. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul here? They choose carefully because they want to say to you, it doesn't matter what you say, as long as you don't speak Arabic. They will say to you, it does not mean that. It does not say that. You do not know Arabic. This is not the correct translation, the whole game. Welcome, people from Malaysia. Here we go. We are going to start now saying every country by name. Anyone here from Japan who is here from Brazil? We salute everybody from around the world to make it short. This is the good thing about the internet. You know, you speak to everybody around the world. It's fantastic. You don't need to go anywhere. I'm sitting behind my computer. Thank God you don't see how I look like. Otherwise, you will, all of you will go. And the only one who will stay in the chat is the blind one, you know, or the one who lost their sight. Uh, but the internet is great, you know, wonderful. What Aleph Lam Me mean? Uh, that this, is, this is a very tough question, my friend. You ask me a question, Allah knows best. The Muslim, if you ask them about those letters, they say to you, no one knows what they mean save Allah and then they start guessing what they mean everyone he give you his own idea man look at those England Germany uh, uh, Kenya look at this around the earth man I am the only Arab here I feel lonely now that's not fair I feel sorry for all of you None of you is smart like us. Romania, Ethiopia, Canada, Belgium, New Zealand, England, France, Syria. Ah, we have Syria, even here, Syria. But you, you are, you're there is a French, so you are an Arab. Uh, Hunter is an Arab too. Okay. Uh, Kurdish, India, Florida. Is that a country? Let me. Is, we Arab. We are very good in geography. Florida, Florida. Yeah, Florida. I know where is Florida. It's next to Saudi Arabia. Uh, Croatia, uh, Guatemala, unbelievable. Ukraine, man, even Ukraine, that's wonderful. Spain, Pakistan, Eritrea, Vatican City, that's amazing. Philippines, wow. Austria, glory to the Lord. UAE, wonderful, wonderful. I love you, all of you guys. Indonesia, amazing, very beautiful. Swedish, 
Okay, I'm going blind, guys. I'm not going to read no more. I'm going to, are we going to spend the day reading the countries? Are we going to do what the Muslims do? Allah have 99 names. All right. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. How are you doing? Uh, this is Nader Ahmad using the, the voice mask. No, Who? I'm not. Who is this? Why you are you using voice mask? So dad. Why you are using why, you why you are using voice mask? You have to go to bed. Oh, yeah. Go, go. Go, kid. Tell your dad that you are using the internet for wrong purpose. You don't even dare to use your own voice, you idiot. They use a, a mask voice they, they, to hide their voice. They are they are scared. <clears throat> you know. So do we have any Abdul here? Who is a brave Muslim would like to call us? Thank you, Robert. Um, you know about voices, by the way. I, I want to show you something very important. You see, prophet of God, they suffer from voices and they have a problem with voices. And the prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, he is no different. He have a very, very scary story. Let me open a tafsir. Hold on. All right. We open the official government website of the kingdom of Jordan. You know, the king of Jordan, he owned this website officially. If you go to chapter of Al Fatiha, verse number one, it says that the Prophet uh, of Allah he received the inspiration of God for that chapter when he was doing poopoo. -poo. Hello, hello. Hello. Are you there? Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How are you, brother? I'm fine, my friend. How are you? Do you remember me? Uh, I'm not sure. We've been in jail together before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not an Abdul. You're Abdul? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. Because you know, the, 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 when you said to me, "Do you remember me?" I remember a guy. I met him with some, in a, in a house of somebody. He keeps uh -huh. saying to me, "I know you." I said, "I don't think you know me." And then he can, you know, we, it's like a, a like a, a occasion, like a, a drinking tea, like bringing adult people who they are like old people. They are old. They are old, not not young, really. And I yeah. was I was visiting my uncle, and, and this is my uncle house. So he keeps saying to me, I see you. I went in the garden outside. He said to me, I see you. I went to the dining room. He saw me again. He said, I see you. I saw you before. I know you. And I keep saying to him, you don't know me. So in order to get rid of him, you know, the, the, the th third or fourth time he said to me, I know you. I said, yeah, yeah, I remember. We used to be in jail together, right? He said, no. He said, yes, yes, I remember. No, 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 I, I, no, I, don't, I don't know you. I don't know you. <laughs> Brother, maybe, maybe <laughs> he thought you're Khashoggi. Uh, what? Maybe he thought, uh, thought you're Khashoggi. I don't know what does that mean. What do I understand? What's that? Khashoggi? Uh, the uh, Saudi, you know? Saudi, ah, okay. Anyway, we have a guy in the text. He called himself Nader Ahmad. Hey, Nader, why you don't call us, uh, my friend? Why you don't call us? You want to call us? Do you want to say anything, my friend? Brother, do you have a question? Um, yeah, can you open Ibn Qatir, uh, page 50, you know, with the gay angels? Let, let us finish this one, please. And you can call me back to ask me about Ibn Qatir. I want to finish the story here, if you don't mind. I don't know, brother. Yeah, yeah call, 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 call me later. Call me later. Let us finish the story here. Look at this, guys. According to the Muslims, that the prophet of Islam each time he go out to do poo poo each time he go out to do poo poo he hear a voice read with me carefully the messenger of Allah Allah bless him and give him peace whenever he went out which means to do poo poo 
he used to hear someone calling him oh Muhammad and whenever he heard this he used to flee if there is any Muslim want to explain to us what's happening anyone no my friend Philippine is a majority Christians what Muslim Muslims are very little minority and they have no idea what Islam is about any Abdul some of my Muslim friend don't accept a Jalalain my friend this is not a Jalalain this is what what this is the hadith who said this is a Jalalain you see what you don't understand a Jalalain is not a book by itself made by Muhammad it's a collection of stories and quotation of hadith to explain something so this is not a Jalalain saying that first of all this is tafsir uh, uh, the book is called asbab al nuzul to imam al, -wa al wahidi so this is not a Jalalain and even that guy he is not the one who is saying to you what he's saying he is quoting a report that this is what happened to the prophet of Islam each time he go to do pupu he hear a voice and he flee and actually once I, I you know I have to be honest with you this has happened with me too I was in the bathroom I heard a voice I ran away I went again I heard the voice I ran away again I heard the voice and I ran again and then I went again I ran again I heard the voice so it happened to me I went many times this is the true story brother the same as the Prophet Muhammad and then at the end I discovered that this is was farting but I thought it's something scary because it's very very loud anyone can tell me how in the world a prophet of God he ran away because he heard a voice while he is doing poo poo and why the God of Islam or the angel don't wait until the poor Muhammad finish his poo poo I mean look at this poor Muhammad he want to do poo poo and the angel cannot leave him in peace put yourself in the in the bathroom of the Prophet Muhammad and you go in the bathroom and then you hear a voice saying oh Muhammad you will go crazy man hey wait, how are you random guy why are Christians are so stupid I don't know I don't know why my friend do you want us to believe in the Prophet he received his message the one you pray every day five times while he's doing poo poo is that what make us smart mr. random <clears throat> is that will make us smart for you so if we have a Prophet he received the inspiration of God during poo poo time and we believe in that that will make us smart for you are you there do you really believe that we should follow Muhammad because he received his Al-Fatiha chapter the most important chapter you Muslim you pray every day because he was doing it or he got it during, during the poo-poo time I do poo-poo every day how come Allah did not send me any inspiration how come the angel is not talking to me during the poo-poo hello hello yes how are you? I'm fine, my friend. You are live on air. What do you want to say to us? Allah is gay. Allah is gay. Allah is gay. What? 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 Allah is gay. 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 I don't want. What this guy is saying? Allah is gay. How Allah can be a gay? I don't want kids to call me, my friend. If Allah does not exist, how he can be gay? That's not not smart. I want adult to call me, please. Do we have any Muslim want to explain to us what's going on? I'm not here to to insult Allah. Allah is poor guy. Leave him alone. I mean, everything happy in the name of Allah, and the guy does not even exist. Allah have no idea what's going on. If I take Allah right now to any chat room, he will go crazy. He will go not. If I show him a smartphone, he will make a chapter. It's called the chapter of a smartphone. If you don't believe me, open the Quran. You will find the chapter. It's called the chapter of the, of the bees. The chapter of the elephant. Whoa, elephant.
the chapter of the cow cow the chapter of the chair chair I mean what will happen if I take Allah to a gallery of those days like what if I show him lazy boy chair what he would do he will make a book about it do we have any Abdul please only Abdul call me don't I don't want anyone to call me unless he's Abdul only Abdul please anyone hello by the way <clears throat> forget about a Muhammad receiving Quran during the pupu time I mean it's very normal especially in the Middle East all of us will receive messages during the pupu time it happened to us all of us in the Middle East you will be sitting at home doing pupu and then a missile or a bomb will explode like what happened in Somalia two days ago people doing pupu in their houses and boom boom, 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 boom and 49 people get killed Message from Allah, brother. This is messages. You know? But look, brother, brother. If you go in the Quran, you will you will find there is a lot of a clear evidence that the Quran is obviously a book coming from God. And I will give you uh, some example. <clears throat> what example I will give you? Guys, somebody says to me something in the text. Anything. I will find you an example about it in the Quran. Somebody wanna tell me something? Inspire me. I have the whole Quran. Just mention to me like a few words, three words. I will find you a story about it in the Quran. I didn't see anything. Nobody making any suggestion for me. Pearls. Ah, pearls. Ah, okay. Hmm. All right. Pearls, pearls, what we can do. That's it. <clears throat> Chapter 55, verse number 22. Oh boy. I mean, why you why you brought me here? Now, because of you, many women who they are listening to this video, they will ask their husband to buy them pearls. It's your fault. I mean, can't you like think about watermelon? At least it's a cheaper because of you now many male they will suffer and uh, hey, hey, they blame it on you it's not on me all right if you have your wife next to you next to the computer listening please turn the speakers off or use headphones so she will not hear this you know she will she will ask you to buy to me some pearls and jewelries all right you see guys the Quran obviously is the book of God let me show you something which is amazing it's really truly amazing and will make you jealous brother <clears throat> brother brother hello go to sleep bitch let me block you. This guy is a Muslim. The, by the way, the one who was calling his God a gay, he's a Muslim. Idiot. Uh, guys, read, read with me carefully. You see, this is a this is one chapter in the Quran, the one speaking about pearls. If God is talking, why he keep repeating the same sentence? What is what is the point? Then which which of the favor of your Lord will ye deny? Then the sound come back. Verse number 16. Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Then verse number 18. Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Then, verse number 21. Then one of the favor of your Lord will deny. Then, verse number 23. Then which of the favors of your Lord will deny? Then, 25. 
Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Guys, you can take a nap and come tomorrow. Then chapter 20, verse number 28. Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Okay, I told you, come tomorrow. Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Verse number 32. Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Alhamdulillah. Now, uh, take a break. I'm getting tired. If I can't breathe, man, this is too much deny. Heavy lifting. I do bodybuilding sometimes, but not that much. Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? I'm really convinced that is a book of God. Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? I have a headache already. Okay, well, deny. Verse number 40. Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? I told you, come tomorrow. Then which of the favor of your Lord will deny? I mean, come on. Are you going to keep doing this forever? I mean, what kind of God he keep repeating the same stupid sentence? Say something. Can't you add this verse at the end of the chapter and that's it? We got it. Are you going to spend the day? And what favor you are talking about? Everything you are saying, there's no proof of it. Allah is saying to us that he gave us the pearls and this is a favor. What favor? What we will do with them? Hey, my friend, Hiya. how are you? How are you doing? I think, I think the way you should do this one is that you act like Allah. So you say, I am going to give you free virgins. So you know the things that they're, they're going to offer in the heaven of Allah. And then you, you're going to say, I don't want this. And then he will say, then which of the favors of your Lord you will deny? Does that make sense? Like it, a play. it makes sense. But the funny here, I mean, all those things he's talking about is stupid. You know, because if 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 he is, is saying to us i did i do you a favor because i made pearls what i would do with the pearls what pearls is just uh it's not really something necessarily i mean uh, you, you, you you we don't eat them we don't cook them, that, we don't aisha, cook them. aisha was gonna play with them maybe that's why what, what we will do what is what he's talking about what, what favor is talking about and then he created the gins from a fire free for a smoke then which of the favor you deny what i, I will off, i will offer you lamborghini and ferrari and you're gonna have an iphone x <laughs> yeah, but, but no but he's talking about he created genie what does have to do with me this is a favor to me he created oh, genie if you're talking about genie, it was funny. I was commenting with with a Muslim, and he kept telling me, um, he seemed to, to think that the genie and the Satan are the same thing. So after I asked him, I think he he understood that he may be wrong, and obviously he went and Googled it. <laughs> but the, the, I mean, they they think that even the Muslims they think that the genie and Satan. I mean, I know Christians. A lot of them they will assume that is the same, but it's not. You know, the genie actually, according to Islam, they are not good. Did you hear about the Saudi family who 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 sue a genie to the court because he is take he's he's stealing their jewelries? Yeah, they they do they do believe that. Yeah, they they went to the, the Sharia law court and they and the judge they told him there is a genie in our house. He's eating our food, stealing our jewelries, our rings, and and obviously their son is in drugs. And trying to explain who is going to take in taking the jewelry, so it is a genie, you know. Uh, there, there is a guy who opened the door of his wife, and he claimed that he saw a fire on the in the bushes of his wife. You know what I'm talking about? Why he claimed because his wife she was having sex with the genie. <laughs> genie, because he's made it from fire. You see, what it says, and he created the gins from no. fire, uh, a fi fire, free smoke. Uh, by the way, a free smoke. Where is the fire gonna come then? So the guy is right. The fire has to come from somewhere, no? Yeah, he's uh, he's trying to explain. There has to be genie. He's trying to explain why around her bushes there is a fire. You know, there's a he's, he saw literally fire there. And the sheikh he told him, brother, this is obviously the genie because the genie is made from fire. So when he do like bing bing, so the fire will start there. You know, it's very normal to happen, brother. So, but you will notice here, 
I don't know if you guys you notice something very scientific these days do you see here it says that Allah created the genie from fire free of smoke did you see that did you see that okay what yes, does that mean there's no, that, there's no smoke that's me is a fire but Allah, there's no smoke Allah is the first one who created the stoves made it from vent free vent free burning there's no smoke yeah, but this is very good for global warming, my friend. So Allah is very smart here. Yeah, you do not need a chimney in your house if you have a if you have a genie and he's burning. You know, is like burning the bushes of your of the wife. So you will not be worried about the smoke. You you do not yeah. need a smoke detector, or you will not die by carbon monoxide. You don't need to, to sign the 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 climate climate agreement with Paris. You know, the Paris climate agreement. You don't need to sign it because there's no smoke. There's no pollution. Right, Allah, you know, Allah is a green, is a, is a totally green guy. You know, he, he, he's so worried about. Did you see the two links I made them down in the in the info? You you send the links. I've I've uploaded three. You've done uh, four in total, I think. Um, I'm I'm uh, uploading uh, another one. I know another one that you you've done. Yeah, actually, I've another seen one. a lot of people have have uh, posted them. A lot of people. All right, that's good. That's good. You know, even uh, Soko phones has posted some. Actually, the reason why I phone, I wanted to ask you a question, because I'm a bit confused about this bit. You are confused? Hold yes. On. Brother, <laughs> I want you to eat seven ajwa a day. All right. <laughs> try, try. No, don't, don't laugh. This is brother, brothers. This is the the, the prophet. Uh, this is. Uh, Sorry, it wasn't is... me. It wasn't me laughing. It was the genius. Oh, okay. Think <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this makes sense. I hope your bushes is okay. <laughs> So, if you are confused, brother, you need to eat to uh, to eat uh, seven ajwa, and you read need to read the chair uh, chapter upside down. Upside down. Upside down. You cannot read it from the beginning to the end. You have to read it from the end to the beginning. This is the secret message. This is secret coding. The second you do that, the genie will go crazy. Do I have to read it in Arabic? Yeah, you have to. Yeah, you have to read it in Arabic, even if you don't know Arabic. I mean, who care? The genie he know Arabic anyway. You just into, you you just make a voice as if you are speaking Arabic. So what the question? The Go question, ahead. The question I wanted to ask. Um, I think <laughs> is is it in the Quran that uh, Muhammad is the first Muslim? Yeah, I wouldn't Muslim mean yeah. So if he uh, hold on, hold on a minute, because I'm I'm I mean this is doesn't make sense. Uh, <laughs> maybe maybe I am confused, or maybe Quran is or Islam or whatever is really confusing. If Muhammad is the first Muslim, why do Muslims say that Adam? Is the first Muslim, or no? Sorry, the yeah, Adam is the first Muslim. You see, the Muslim, Jesus the Muslim, was a Muslim. Yeah, the Muslims. Uh, am, am I making sense? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the one who's trying to to call me, please just hold on until. The, okay, the, I'll I'll get off. It, it's just a, that. Okay. Can you All right, I will try and okay. explain? I will, I will. Okay. Hello. 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 Here we go. Either you speak like a man, or yeah. I hang up on you. <laughs> Stupid people. Where I get those people from? Muhammad Ismail. His name is Muhammad Ismail. I mean, why we cannot find a mature Muslim who speaks like a human being? Get lost. I have no time for kids. The problem with the Muslims, they're kids. I mean, their prophet, he speaks like a kid. The wife, his wife is a kid. The followers are kids. We cannot find one Muslim is mature to talk to us. They believe that genies sleep with their wives. This is why they have to, I mean, to check, you know. Listen, when Muhammad, he says, and the Muslim, they, they, they will say to you, oh boy, hello? Hello? Yes. Yeah, um, I just want to, I don't, I'm not too knowledgeable on Islam, but I would like to learn about it. I want to see what you know about it. Okay, you are a Muslim, my friend. Yes, I'm. Muslim. Okay, what what the word Muslim mean? What do you say? What the word Muslim mean? Follow of Islam. Mm, so, I never heard of this before. It's, if, if somebody is a Muslim, he is a follower of Islam. Where you learn this from? What do you mean? I don't know because the Quran says, you know, to be a Muslim is just you say Shahada. You don't follow Islam. Yeah, I do, but okay. Do you believe in Islam or you are just a Muslim? I'm Muslim, I believe in Islam. Yeah. Okay, let me see. This is what I'm saying. Uh, the Quran uh, says, um, that's you don't need to be a believer to be a Muslim. All what you need to do is you do Shahada, you say, you say Shahada, and that will make you a Muslim. Is that right? 
Um, I don't know, but I just I was born as a Muslim, so I don't I'm not really educated in Islam. Mm. So mm. okay, well then I will not go yes. heavy with you as long as long you do not know. But you see, do you think you're a prophet? You know what Islam is about? Yeah, I do. I do know what Islam, but a little bit, not too much. And you, you, you know. Okay, I thought. Okay, so what do you know about Islam? I will go with you. What do you know about Islam? What is what uh, Islam? Listen, well, listen, listen to me from well, Skype, not from YouTube. Please mute your YouTube so you don't have uh, two sounds. Oh, sorry. Yeah, um, so I know like that Muhammad was the last prophet. Okay, can you give me a prophecy, Muhammad, he said? Because a prophet is somebody give a prophecy, right? Yeah. What is the prophecy, Muhammad, he said? Where in the Quran I find a prophecy for him? I have all the Quran in front of me. So if I say uh, someone is a prophet, then he made a prophecy. What is the prophecy? The prophecy? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not really knowledgeable in this stuff. So mm. but I just wanted to know. But how you say, my, my friend, you say, I'm going with you. How you say he's a prophet, but you never heard that he have a prophecy? Because in order to call you a prophet, you have to prophesy. As I know, in the whole Quran, maybe for the there is no maybe true prophecy of Muhammad. I, I will give you, I will help you, I will help you, I will help you and show you a prophecy Muhammad he said. And you help me together, me and you, to think about it. Is that good? Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. I'm listening. Uh, <clears throat> in the Quran, it says that uh, the judgment day is near and the moon is split. Yeah. Chapter 54, verse number one. Okay. That verse saying that the moon is split and the judgment day is near. So this is a prophecy, right? A guy saying judgment day is near. Actually, it doesn't say near. It says, which means it's almost, almost there in the corner. Okay. Now, when Muhammad, he said, the moon is split and judgment day is near. That's mean he is telling us about something very, very, very soon is going to happen, which is judgment day, correct? Yeah. Okay, but judgment day did not have not that happened since fourteen hundred years ago. Yeah. So that is a false prophecy. Mm, well, no, it isn't. But what do you mean? Maybe that's your opinion. My, my but, friend, no. my friend, if I say to you, read with me. Uh, 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 this is the Muslim translation. The hour, the judgment, is night, which means very, very close, and the moon is a cliff ascender. So Muhammad reporting to us what. That judgment day has already started. Here we go. The moon split. Muhammad, he saw the eclipse. He claimed that this is judgment day. Something big happened at that time, which is big eclipse. And Muhammad, he think that that's, this is a sign of judgment day. So now he said to his followers, the moon split ascender and judgment day, that's it. It's in the corner. But that was 1,400 years ago. Is that supposed to be a bad thing? Well, if I say to you, if I say to you now, that tomorrow we will have snow, and then 10 years after there's no snow don't you think this is i am I, I was lying about what i said i claim to be a prophet no. i claim to be a prophet prophesying about what will no. happen tomorrow and then nothing happened for the coming 1400 years how do you know nothing happened well the judgment the, the judgment they happened He's saying no. judgment day is okay so so did not happen he's saying judgment day is almost there so it did not happen, so it was a lie. How we call him a prophet when he said that judgment day is almost in the corner? And he said that 1400 years ago. What, what about he was talking about? What if he was talking about judgment day? It's for in the front of you, my friend. It's my no judgment. Oh, no, 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 my friend. It says judgment day, judgment day. It's judgment day. This is why the moon is split because this is not a normal day. This is judgment day. Sa, in, our, yeah. in, our, in, in, in the Quran, when you say sa, you know. You, it, that's mean the, the hour of the judgment day. Oh, okay, I see now. Yeah. So what do you think? Muhammad is a prophet? Yeah, he's still a prophet. Why? He just made a lie. He just said the judgment day is in the corner and nothing happened for 1400 years. Which verse is this? Uh, this is the chapter of the moon, verse number one. Um. By the way, guys, uh, he, he's going to look for the verse, but during the time he's looking, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, I receive messages from Allah, and I think I'm a prophet. I think there's a lot of women, they will have their period next month. 
and uh, I heard that uh, there is uh, some, uh, somebody in Fox News will say news. I uh, this is a prophecy. Was it chapter of the moon, verse one? Yes, verse number one. Go ahead. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Yeah. Yeah, so how is that supposed to be judgment day? But it says judgment day, verse number one. The hour of the judgment is night, and the moon is a, is a cliff ascender. Um, can't find that here, man. Yeah. What are you reading? What are you reading? What, what translation you are reading? Genesis one, chapter fifty-four, verse number fifth, uh, verse number one. Oh, okay. Yeah, Al Qamar, Al Qamar. The hour has drawn near and the moon has been cleft as, un as under. Perfect. Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? Well, the hour is the judgment day. I'm not asking you to read the Bible. Why is he reading the Bible? You were you were reading the Bible? No. I said to you, read the chapter of the moon. Yeah, that's what I was reading. Yeah, well, they are telling me you are reading the Bible. I don't know what they are talking about. No, exactly. He's not reading no, the Bible. No. He's not reading the Bible. What are you talking about? The guy is searching the Quran. Yeah. So chapter 54, verse number one, the hour of the judgment is nigh and the moon is a cliff of ascender. Now, Muhammad, yeah. he, Muhammad, he claimed here to be a prophet and he prophesied about judgment day is in the corner. And that was 1400 years. And he claimed that this is the start of judgment day. It's not just coming. It started because the moon split. Oh, see. So what do you think? Mm. How Muhammad can be a prophet? He cannot be a prophet. He's he's not telling the truth. You can't be a prophet and you lie. No, it's not a lie, but you don't know what happened on day on that what, day. What happened? What like, happened, my friend? My friend, you see, if if I say to you, who is the one is talking there? This is Allah, correct? Allah talking. He's, okay. If Allah is saying that judgment day is coming and soon, very soon, and it's in the corner, and here we go, I split the moon. And Muhammad said that Allah told him that and then we find that this has never happened That's mean there's no Allah and there's no Muhammad is not telling the truth So why didn't why did why didn't those believers leave their religion? What they are leaving they are leaving if you give them a chance to leave There's many people who find out the truth, but if you live in the Middle East, they will kill you if you leave Islam But there wasn't that many followers in that time. So my friend. Yeah, don't didn't you hear about the war of apostate the same day Muhammad he died Tons of thousands of people left Islam the same day, not even second day. So Abu Bakr, he made a war. It's called the War of Apostate. You did not hear of it? You can go right now, search nope. on Google. Okay, go and Google search. When did they um, when did they write this first, or when was this whole page? Was it was the Quran sent down? My altogether? friend, uh, my friend it, doesn't, like, it, doesn't, it, doesn't ma it doesn't matter where it, where it's sent. Based on what we have, Muhammad he said that fourteen hundred years ago. So he received it uh, during his lifetime. It might be the first day, it might be the last day. Who cares? But after fourteen hundred years from that date, nothing happened. It's a false prophecy. Let me ask you: yeah, but, yeah. Do you, do, what, what, yeah. uh, what is your education? Do you go to school, my friend? Yeah. Okay. What is your education, if you don't mind, to to tell me? Education? What do you mean? Yeah, like, like what? What? What is school you study? What I study? Do you have a degree, oh. or you are in school now? What? Yeah, I'm in school. Okay. Do you... In college. College. Yeah, in college. That's wonderful. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Uh, where the sun set? When the sun sets. Where the sun set? The sun. Where the sun goes every day. When the sun set, where where it goes? Where it disappears? Do you know? Um. Space. You don't know how old are you, my friend? Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, Sunset. Sixteen. You are. Yeah, I'm not, okay. I don't understand what you're trying to say. I'm asking you when the sun set in the school. What they taught you? The sun set. Sunset. You know, we have not. Yeah, uh, sun, oh, oh sunset. Have, yeah, the sunset. Yeah, what we about have the sunrise and the sunset? Okay, when the sunset, yeah. where, where the sun goes? Do you know? 
do read the sunset is it real like the sunset or this is the earth is going around itself so we think the sun is sitting oh yeah so this is what happened right but your prophet he claimed that the sun goes every day and sleep under the throne of Allah I don't, I don't know and that's what I'm trying that's why I came to you I just want to see what you think about your opinions I just want to see learn on your opinions and that I don't really know that much yeah but so. you see this I'm telling you my opinion obviously Muhammad can't be a prophet because why he's telling us something is absolutely false that the Sun goes every day from point A to point B when the Sun is not going anywhere it's the earth going around itself and that would generate the day it's not the Sun so by Muhammad saying that the Sun is goes and he's trying to explain to the Muslims that the Sun is moving from here to there and this is how it happened the Sun said obviously you know uh, he's lying right well I'm not gonna say he's lying like like for Christianity, I won't say the Bible's lying because I friend, don't know. Like, my friend, you can say no problem. You can I respect say, just, no, 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 I respect no, my, Christians. My friend, I, I no, no, don't, don't, no, 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 my, my friend, my friend, listen, forget about the word respect. Respect is a kind of hypocrisy because if somebody believes I'm wrong, why you want to respect the wrong? Don't, don't respect me if I'm wrong. Please, don't, it's okay. Don't, you know, we are talking about okay. belief, not about a person. I respect you as a person, but your belief is not you. So, respect have nothing to do with our conversation here. We have to, we are talking about facts. And you know, soon you will be an adult man who will have your own house, you will have your own decision, you will be responsible for your life. So now, when Muhammad he said the sun goes every day and set in that place, he did not tell the truth. Do you agree? I don't I don't know, maybe. No, not maybe. I mean, uh, you can search in Google right now, and you are you are you go to college, you told me the sun does not go anywhere. The, the day and the night does not happen because the sun is moving, because the earth is going around itself. So, how he say that? It's obviously it's a lie. So Muhammad he cannot be a prophet, but yet he's liar. Prophet should not lie, prophet should not claim that he have knowledge coming from God, and then he give us something like this. Right? I'm not. I'm not orthodox Muslim, so I'm just like a secular. Uh, my friend, my friend. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you are orthodox or Muslim. I'm not talking to you if you are orthodox or I mean, my friend. You're serious, yeah, deeper yeah. into religion, so I no, don't no, know no. See, about... my friend, my friend. I'm speaking to you as a smart person yeah. who have a brain. Yeah. Who care about if you are orthodox Muslim or not? I'm talking to you. You are a human. You are you are a man. You are a person who have have a brain. You you can think. You are not like uh, we are not animals. Me and you, we are not animals. We are not a cow who exists just to eat uh, uh, some grass and and uh, and sleep. Uh, we have a brain. So Muhammad here is saying that the sun every day goes and sleep under the throne of Allah, and he is trying to explain here how the sun set. He's making it clear. Do you know what the sun said? Once I was with the Prophet at, in the mosque. At the time of the sunset, the Prophet said, "Oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set?" I replied Allah and his apostle know best he said I it goes prostrate underneath Allah throne and that Allah statement and the Sun runs in its uh, course fixed course in that in the term of degree and that was from chapter 36 verse number 38 which mean Muhammad is quoting Quran for you trying to prove a point that Allah told him that every day the Sun goes and sleep under the throne of Allah and that supposedly explanation of the Quran how you can believe in this I don't know I've never read Quran so yeah but you see I'm trying to help you here you know you are I, I can tell you are a nice person you are from a good family you see I can tell the person he have a spirit you are speaking with respect you are not a rude person uh, you know, I welcome you here, and I'm glad that you are, you call me. But I want you to use your brain. A smart, oh, yeah. a smart person like you should investigate things. Don't don't take what I say to you. Maybe I'm not telling the truth. You know, check it out. You see, I'm showing the hate in the screen. How Muhammad is a prophet, but yet he says such a thing. It doesn't make sense, right? Yeah. Have you have you ever heard of the Muslim saying to you like you know your Muslim friends and you are a Muslim, they are saying to you that the Quran have scientific miracles before? No. Nope. You never heard the Muslim saying that to you that they have scientific miracles? No. 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 Oh, okay. I think yeah. Then yeah, they're just like yeah, they just act normal. They don't really go deep to religion. So. Mm, okay. 
Well, what do you think about going to heaven and we will have a lot of girls waiting for us? Do you like that? Oh, uh -huh. the, the, the Islam, Muhammad, he taught that when we go to heaven, Allah now is preparing for us women who they are waiting for heaven for us in heaven and they are naked for sex is ready for sex and not only that muhammad he said that allah will take him 1000 years to soften the skin of every of those girls what do you think about that allah will take him 1000 year softening the skin of every female do you think this is uh, possible i don't know no why, I don't why, think so. why allah why allah is god but yet did actually he, say that or yeah, Muhammad he said that why Allah he is God, but yet he is so slow to soften the skin. I mean, what kind of woman she is? She is an alligator. Why I need one thousand years to soften her skin? I can go to the pharmacy buy some Vaseline. After two weeks, her skin would be nice. One thousand years to soften every woman's skin. So we have billions of women. How how long is going to take Allah? To fix those women and why he did not create them with soft skin right away? I mean, why he is making them? Concrete skin and then he want to soften the skin. Isn't it him? Is, he is the one who made them? Well, it doesn't matter. If, it doesn't matter if you're it doesn't matter about looks for a human being. Every human being should be loved. So it doesn't no, no, matter no. If this, this is not, uh, my friend, that's not the point. The point is Allah He will create for you in the heaven special kind of women just for sex. And then he says to us that Allah He Himself He will soften their oh, skin. For what? Sex. Yeah, for sex, don't you know? They call them the whore. Uh, no, I don't. I don't know if you guys this is from. Yeah, well, this is what the, well, this is what Quran says, and not only that, the Quran says that those women they will have a private part which nobody uh, have a park his car there. You know, they are not used. Brand new parking parking lot. So those well, women. Is this in the Quran? Yeah, this is in the Quran. You do not know. No, I don't. I don't. Okay, what what if I show you in the Quran? What do you think? Do you want me to show you? Yeah, I want to see it. Okay, no problem. You have a Quran with you in front of you, or you are using the internet? I'm using the internet. Okay, go to chapter fifty. Go to chapter fifty-five, my friend, verse number fifty-six. Chapter fifty-five, six fifty-six, fifty-five, fifty-six. 55 chapter 55 56 yeah okay okay what it says there so chapter 55 was it chapter 55 yes 55 the verse number 56 It's giving me some different verses. No problem. Take your time. Wait, let me go on to the Quran. Hmm. Did you find it? I'm still looking for it now. Just take mm -hmm. taking some time. Okay. So sure. verse no problem. So was the verse again? Fifty-six. My friend, focus with me. Chapter fifty-five, verse number fifty-six. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm reading. All right. Yeah, I can see it. Mm. What it says there. In these gardens mm. will be mates of modest gaze, be neither man nor invisible, being will have touched ere then. Mm. Yeah, what's that? Does what it, that does it really, what, what touch? What what touch mean? Does it really say touch? Touched, yes. Mm. Well, it says nobody not nobody go inside their vagina. It doesn't say touch. 
It says in Arabic, "Lam yatmuthahunna insun qablahum wala jan." I don't know. I'm just I'm reading from some website called Islami City. Yeah, I understand. I understand. No problem. But you see, they are even lying. They're trying to be more polite. The Quran doesn't say that. The Quran say clearly that those are women who they are uh, never been touched. The word never been touched is about they never had sex with anyone, and their vagina is still brand new. You say that here. Well, it says there. No, it says I don't know why you don't see it. Well, uh, there, anyway, anyway, there is there is many there is many uh, translation, my friend, and you will see Oops. that those translation they are providing you. Let me show you in the screen. Do you, the, uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah, okay, read with me carefully. This is Halil Halali Khan. It says, "Where in both will be those between two bracket medians." Restraining their gallants upon their husbands, whom no man or genie, yet mutahunna, this is the word in Arabic, and between two bracket, has opened their humans with sexual intercourse before. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Okay. What kind of God he said that to us? He describing what is inside the vagina. Why God he need to tell me what is inside the vagina of the woman if somebody touched her vagina before or not? Somebody put his finger there or not? Where is this? Where are you reading this from? I'm not sure. I don't think this is the translation. Right this is QuranX.com. QuranX.com. Yeah. Why? Why God? He says such a thing. I mean, what kind of God? I don't think that's right. Was like it could be edited or no, my friend. This is Quran. Quran. This is a Quran Arabic. This is how it is in Arabic. This is QuranX.com. This is your Islamic website. How do you know it's reliable? Hmm. I, don't, I, don't uh, I, I assure you that there's nothing in Islam is reliable. This is not the question. The question is, I don't need to read, to read the translation. I have it in Arabic. I speak Arabic. Arabic is my first language. This is what it says. So what do you think? Do you think really true good God, he will say that to us? He will say to us, I will give you brand new vagina so you can play with it. And the vagina, nobody play with it. And it have wax on it, and no genie, no human. What genie? Genie, they will play with the vagina of the women too. What kind of god this god is? What do you think? Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I mean to be honest with you, I'm so happy that Allah is giving me details about the vagina. I mean, I'm so. I I was worried, man. I was worried that the vagina maybe it is refurbished. I don't want why to does it, a, why does it why does it um explain it different here than in the one you're reading from the Quran because, X website? Uh, because different translation, there's many translators that are trying to hide the this the disgusting uh, words, but this is what it says in Arabic. No, I think that's edited or Maybe. I don't know. Well, you have to check it out. For me, I proved. I, I, I am sure it's not edited. This is how it is. This is the truth. Do you have any one of your family speak Arabic? No. Okay. Do you? Kurdish. 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 Are you are a Kurdish? Okay. But as yeah. long as you are a Kurdish, then you can ask somebody. I'm sure somebody of your family can find somebody speak Kurdish. You can go to any dictionary and search for the word tumth. Tumth is a. It, it mean a woman bleeding. So the Quran is saying that she did not lose, you know, when a woman she have sex for the first time, she will bleed. So what the Quran is saying to us that there's no man, there's no no genie made her bleed from the first intercourse, describing the skin inside the vagina that it's brand new and nobody break it yet. What do you think? Do you think this is really a religion? Um, I don't. I don't know which one to believe, like, because they're both different. Why would they change it? Or yeah, my I don't friend, think my, my my friend. Okay, I, I I give you that. I want you to take notes and check it out and see if I am telling you the truth or not. If I am not, you know, don't believe me ever again. 
is that fair guys this 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 gentleman is a very nice guy all right and he is searching for the truth and here we go I give you the reference you are smart you can go right now and search and check it out what really the real meaning in Arabic is for that you will see this is the real meaning the word in Arabic is yet mutahunna thumb you know you can ask anyone who speak Arabic can you please just show me this word what, what this word mean let us see you can go to any Islamic website and post for them the sentence and says what is the real translation of this and you can post for them this and this and this which one is the most accurate I'm not lying to you my friend people are watching me by hundreds and if I am lying people will make fun of me this is what it says right yeah well my friend for me if I am you I will think carefully you know you are a person who is going to be uh, you will have a future you will have a family you wouldn't want to waste your time with such a cult promising your vagina and long penis I mean this is disgusting this is stupid this is not you this is not you this is not me this is not your family this is not your history we cannot believe in such a garbage God is not a God is not a pimp who worked in Las Vegas we need to find for who is decent the one who teach us something noble something have a value something have about about real love something about a real re, real existence of God God is not a pimp who provides us vagina and long penis that is an insult to God you know anyway uh, I have a I have a guy when I call me let me let me call him and uh, he maybe he can clarify those things for you his his name uh, Adam Bakri he's from Nigeria as a Muslim all right okay all right <coughs> all right we have this guy from Nigeria he's saying call me now <coughs> Hello. Hello. Hey Adam, how are you? Hello. I hear you, Mr. Adam. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm okay. You keep I'm saying fine. you want to debate me, but you don't call me when I am live on air. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Well, I want I want us to debate on the location of the Garden of Eden. That's the original thing. Hmm. And the location of the Garden of Eden. Hmm. The the <clears throat> The theory of knowledge and the four rivers within the garden. Mm. Tell me about the garden. What so about, that's all what I about, want to what, what, what about the garden? Tell me, I'm listening. Well, according to Bible, hmm. Bible said that the garden of Eden hmm. is situated on this earth. Hmm. Am I right? I'm listening. Okay. Go, go ahead. So the uh -huh. The Garden of Eden is traded in this art. Hmm. The theory of knowledge or the forbidding fruit is still situated in this uh, in the Garden of Eden in hmm. this world. The four rivers is still within the Garden of Eden. So I want you to tell me the locations of hmm. the Garden of Eden because the Garden of Eden hmm. is where Christianity started. It is where Adam and Eve committed mm. the original sin, which mm. or the whole mankind mm. inherited mm. their sins. Oh. So, if truly the Garden of Eden existed, mm. that means we inherited that so called original sin. But mm. if there is no evidence of the Garden of Eden, mm. that means Christianity was fabricated. Concocted, oh. uh, right. Let me ask you, uh, my, my friend. Okay, I heard you. Uh, do you Muslims believe in the Garden of Eden? Yes mm -hmm. or no? <clears throat> the you, Garden of Eden. Yeah. Do you there believe? is no Garden of Eden. So why should I believe in the Garden of Eden? Okay, guys. He said there's no. The God of the hold on, hold on. One, one by one. I want you to confirm. There's no Garden of Eden in Islam. Correct. I'm hearing you. No, no, confirm to me there's no garden of Eden. Garden, no, there is no garden of Eden. Okay, open, no garden of open, Eden in Islam, open, open, according to open, Islam. Open chapter 9, verse number 72. No, it's not garden of Eden. No. Adam, according to Islam, my friend, Adam, open, and Eve were open. You said, the no, you no said, you Eden. said, you said, everybody heard you. I asked you twice to be sure you are not making a mistake. 
I said, do you have Garden of Eden? I'm sure Islam? I'm not making a mistake. Okay, there so is open no the Quran. Open the Quran. Mm -hmm. The Quran okay. mentioned the Garden of Eden. Let the Quran, I ask you, do you believe in the Garden of Eden? You said no. People heard you. So I am saying to you, Excuse me. Okay, there is a excuse, way I said me. No, is excuse that. me. Excuse me. In the excuse Arabic text of the Quran. In the me. Arabic Hello? text of the Quran. Hello? There is no listen, I listen to you. You are not listening now. You are the one who said we don't believe in the Garden of Eden. But it is in the Quran. The second I showed yes. you, I said to you, it is in the Quran. Now you change your mind. A second ago, you said there's no Garden of Eden. <laughs> so why you said there's no Garden of Eden of Islam? Because you never heard of it, right? This is why in the beginning you were denying it. You are calling me to make fun of God. Oh, you, you, you said, you said, you said, everybody heard you. Everybody heard you. Abdul, listen. Everybody heard you. Everybody heard you saying, Abdul, Abdul, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Everybody, we cannot talk in the same time. Abdul, Abdul, I, we cannot talk in the same time. I will give you time to talk. Everybody's heard you saying it. We don't, there is no garden okay. of Eden in Islam. Did you say that or no? There is no. I say, you said no, right? There's no garden of Eden. Yes. Okay. So, why the Quran says garden of Eden is exists in Islam? <coughs> huh? Which chapter? What chapter? Again, you are asking me the same Which chapter. Chapter 9, yes. verse number 72. Jannat oh, Adam. Jannat, my friend. Islam. Chapter chapter 9, verse number 72. Jannati Adan. I'm showing you on the screen. Here we go. You said well, we Muslims, we don't friends. believe Jannati in such. Is not... My friends, Jannat is Jannah, is Janina. Jannah is Jannah. Don't lie, don't lie. The word Jannah is Jannah. It is paradise. So you said we don't believe you, you said you said we don't believe in the in the in the paradise of Adan in Eden. This is Eden in the Quran. No, 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 everybody no, 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 heard, no, everybody that. heard you saying that. Everybody heard. That. So now, this is it in the Quran? Yes or no? CP, Abdul, Abdul, is it in the Quran? Yes or no? There is paradise in the Quran. Abdul, is it in the Quran? Jannah, that, but not that, that, of what is the name of God in the It's in the front of you. It's in the front of you. What's wrong with you? You do not know Arabic. Anyone teach me Arabic? I'm showing it in the screen. Read it. So, paradise, Quran mentioned paradise. Abdul, paradise, Abdul, it doesn't say even Eden. paradise, it says Jannah to Ad Abdul, don't waste my time. You see, you, this, you, you are a kid, you are a kid, you are, you are a kid. You are holding, you are holding yourself, you want to debate me, you are desperate to debate me, and now you call me, and you got busted in less than 30 seconds. I knock you down in less than how? 30 seconds. You said we don't believe. How? How? You, no. you said you don't believe in the Garden of Eden. Everybody heard you. You said in Islam we don't believe in that. I you said, said the Christianity I is based on that. that. But it's that. in the front of your eyes. Now read it for yes. us. Re read. Why, why, you don't, why you don't read the verse for me? I see we don't have the Abdul, Abdul. Why, why you don't read the text of Abdul, why? Anything Garden of Eden. Abdul, Ab Abdul, potato. Why you don't want to read it, the verse? Why you don't want to read the verse? <laughs> do you know how many Which verses? Do you, you read, all those you verses? Read, verse. Abdul, all those verses in the front of me are speaking no, about Eden. That, Abdul, in English, just to show you, Bible, just to show you how, just you to show you how ignorant you are. All the verses I'm showing in the screen is spoken about the Garden of Eden. All of them, not even one. There's tons. The Quran no, speaking. No, no Garden of Eden. No, no, no Abdul, no. Abdul. No Garden of Eden. Pe 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 people are laughing no at you. It's mentioned. Shut Eden. up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! We're gonna talk at the same time. Call me back. Call me back. We're gonna talk at the same time. You're you like a donkey. A living time is mentioned in the Quran. Chapter nine, verse number seventy-two. Chapter thirteen, verse one twenty-three. Chapter sixteen, verse number thirty-one. Chapter eighteen, verse number thirty-one. Chapter 19, verse number 61. Chapter 20, verse number 76. Chapter 35, verse number 33. Chapter 38, verse number 50. Chapter 40, verse number 8. Chapter 61, verse 12. We go to the second page. We're not done. Chapter 98, verse number 8. All those verses are mentioning the Garden of Eden. And you donkey, you said to me, we do not in Islam have Garden of Eden. Now I will call you back so you can answer me. I hang up on you because we cannot talk at the same time. Go ahead. Answer. 
So is it in the Quran, the Garden of Eden, yes or no? There is no any name called Garden of Eden in the entire Arabic text of the Quran. Get lost. Don't ever call me again. I don't have time for kids. Don't ever call me again. It's in the front of you guys or not? Do you see it in the screen? All those verses speaking about the garden of eden and this donkey he want to tell me not even one verse in the quran have the garden of eden and this guy he's trained the muslim who will debate christian prince you did not it did not even take me 30 seconds to knock you down at least make it one minute do some training take vitamin eat honey drink common urine unbelievable hello Hello, Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. Uh, I want I want to tell you a few words. All right. I know I'm a Christian. I'm from Russia, and um, I'm a devout Christian. And uh, I like all that you do. And uh, I think that Islam will dominate in the next century because people majority of people in all over the world live in atmosphere of ignorance and uh, no, political no, no, majority no 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 my friend uh, you, uh, no you are wrong islam is losing ground big deal my friend islam is dying you see whatever whatever people they say to you it might be for you appearing this way but you do not know we are here let us say we are in the business of islam we know what's happening islam is dead already not dying islam is in the stage of dead you see uh, uh do you know what happened have you ever started a chicken before Mm -mm. Okay, when you start a chicken, the chicken start going crazy, it start jumping in the air. The chicken is not dancing, but it is dying. This is what Islam is doing. Islam mm -hmm. might be look like dancing so violently because it is dead. There's nothing left. Don't worry about that, my friend. Thank you for calling. Call me, please, guys, only if you have something serious. All right. Call me only if you have something serious. I want a Muslim to call me, please. No Christians. I never saw. A Muslim have a decency, and if he have a decency, he will be like the gentleman who is uh, who called me because he is, he don't know nothing about Islam. The real Muslims they play games. The true Muslims are not honest. You cannot find a Muslim who is a true honest, true Muslim, and he is honest. It's impossible. Not a single verse, brother. Not a single verse, brother, in the Quran, mentioning the word Eden. Here we go. This is your Islamic website, Quran Complex, Quran X. Do you see it? I will click, I will put the word Eden in English, not in Arabic, and I will click search. Look what we have. Brother, we Muslim brother, we don't believe in Eden, brother. A brother, it's not exist in single verse in the Quran, brother. A brother, you are lying. There is no Eden, brother. A brother, I am from Nigeria who don't speak Arabic, a brother, and I'm going to school you, brother. A brother, you are lying. There is no Eden in the in the in the Quran, a brother. All, all those verses are not in the Quran. All those verses in the screen are not in the Quran. So where are they? In the Playboy magazine? And you stupid idiot, you have the courage to call me. How dare you? The guy he was excited. So you see, this is what they do. They have a they have a prepared the question. He thought, he thought, okay. I am ready for this question and now I will call Christian press this guy is squeezing his balls for the last two months he want to debate me supposedly he's preparing for this let me call him Christian press you believe in the Garden of Eden I want you to tell me her location stupid idiot you have no idea you are talking to who I don't even debate myself I'm scared to debate myself I will lose. I told you. How dare you? 
لدال بلاد ستر كريتر برنس هي سيد ذات ان ذا قران وي هاف ذا جاردن اوف ايدن ابسولوتلي ذيس از ذا فابريكيشن اذا ذا ترو ات از منشن ان ماني تشابتر ان ذا قران ذا جاردن اوف ايدن بس ذا تروث از ات سيد ايدن بس ات مين بتيتو ثانك يو فيري ماتش ات سيز ايدن بت مين ات مين بتيتو اند لوك هاو هي انسست لك ذا دونكي هي دونت ايفن لك هي سي سوري اي واز رونغ Uh, sorry, I know I made a mistake. I mean, it's okay. But he is a donkey who have a big head and he don't have the courage to say I was wrong. So he insists nowhere in the Quran, the Garden of Eden is mentioned, brother. Nowhere, brother. It's a lie, brother. There's nowhere. All of this? All of this and nowhere in the Quran, it mentioned the Garden of Eden? Do you see how many verses? Are you with me, brother? You are certified donkey, Adam Bakri. Certified donkey. You will never be mule. Don't try. Even if you go to school, you will stay mule. You will stay donkey. In China, they say he left as a horse. He never came back as a donkey. So it doesn't matter where you go. Even if you go and study in London, you will stay a donkey. A smart person who says such a thing and he finds himself wrong, apologize, say, okay, I was wrong. What a big deal. I mean, okay, we, we make mistakes. Uh, you know, but he don't want to say he is ignorant. He is a stupid. We don't have Eden in the Quran. There is nowhere in the Quran. We don't have Eden zero. You are lying. The Garden of Eden, brother, full of watermelon, brother. Who is next? Thank you guys for donation. Don't forget to send donation to Adam Bakri. He needed it. He got so very heavy injury in his head. And I guess now he is looking for vacation for the gar in the Garden of Eden. Now he is looking in an airline ticket to Garden of Eden because the injury was very heavy. This is the guy want to debate me? You want to debate me? Are you sure? Are you sure you can debate me? And this is the question you are preparing yourself to destroy me with? You don't even know your book. I mean, isn't it a shameful thing that this Abdul, he spent his life studying the verse in the Bible about the Garden of Eden, but yet he did not take time to read his book to the point he never heard about the Garden of Eden in his book. That is a clear sign of his stupidity. You must be a donkey to go and read the book of somebody else focusing in something, but you never read your book. Because if you read your book, you will never say what you said to me. You see, this is why I say any Muslim can call me. I do not need to prepare for a topic. I know you don't. I'm not like your God, Allah, who says women have a sperm coming from their ribs. And this is the reason I'm still single. Hello? 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 Are you there? This guy, you have like seven wives, baby. Hello? Go, buddy, go. I have no time for kids. Do we have any breakfast? Time? <laughs> Hello? Hey, Mr. Amran, don't open for me your camera, my friend. I'm not interested to see your family and you. Talk, talk. What do you want to say to me? Hello? I hear you. You are breathing. Why you don't want to talk? My friend, Allah will be, Allah will support you. Don't worry. I know, I know it's really not easy to speak to Christian Prince, but it's okay. Allah will support you. What do you want to say? Why you, want to, why you are calling me if you don't want to talk? We hear the women behind you. The women, they are more brave than you. Talk. Okay, go. Let me block you. I have no time for kids. I mean, how brave those people are.
I wonder how, I wonder why. <clears throat> and all what I can see, just a bunch of Abdul around me. I turn my head up and down. I turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around. And all what I can see, just a bunch of crazy around me. There's no garden of Eden in the whole Quran. And I challenge you, you must be crazy man. Can you please show me? I turn my head, I search the Quran, and I find the Garden of Eden all around me. And even I found the fig tree. Do you want me to show you the? Hello? 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 It is me you are looking for. Even your God, by the way, he swear by the fig. And boy, why he swear by the fig? Because this is imported from the Garden of Eden. It's a special fig. American. Do we have any Abdul? Any Abdul? Who's next? Who is next is ready to knock me down. But promise me it's going to take you more than 30 seconds. Hmm? Are you having fun, guys? How many of you subscribe to our channel yet? If you don't subscribe, please subscribe. If you are already subscribed, don't forget to unsubscribe. Because in Islam, Allah bless you for doing bad deeds and He will reward you for doing good deeds. So, what do you do, brother? You do the bad deeds by resubscribing. And then you do unsubscribe, and that is the good deed. So Allah will wipe your bad deed by the good deed. Very smart religion. I mean, this is genius. That is genius, man. Only on Islam. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe and unsubscribe, please. Allah will bless you. Hello. Uh, you should learn to delay Yoko time. What Yoko time mean? Is that the language in the Quran? I never heard this before. Yoko time. My Zakir Naik is dead on. <laughs> please, please show respect to Dr. Zakir Naik. Please. He is the scholar of the nation. And when he talked, there is many things happened. Hurricane, typhoon, flood, and rain. When they asked Zakir Naik, uh, why a Muslim woman, she can't be a prophet, he said, but the third, the third day I'll cook with him. Why in Islam there is no woman, he's the prophet. First of all, let me confirm to you that in the religion of Islam, there is no woman to the Prophet. That's for sure. But the reason that women in Islam cannot be a Prophet is very logical. Because if a Muslim woman, he became a Prophet. He has to lead the congregation. And he has to do to do what to do. Which means he has to bend over. If he bend over, all the believers, they will be contacted and they will be focusing in her ass. Thank you very much. And the Muslims like, wow. Allahu Akbar, what a great answer. The Muslim will be focusing on her ass. The Muslim will be disturbed and they will not be able to pray to Allah because they have a female prophet and she have a nice ass. May Allah ask you. What a super intelligent religion. Hello? 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 Yes. Oh. Uh, uh, do you know the hadith where Muhammad uh, flied with a, a donkey to Jerusalem? 
Yeah, this is this is supposedly in the chapter of Isra when Muhammad he took him Allah in the top of a donkey, which is very beautiful and white. Yeah, what about it? Uh, can you show it to me? Uh, no to problem. No problem. But can you next time you call me, can you make your voice clear? I don't know, like you are talking as if you are talking under the table. Let me show you the height. Go ahead. Donkey, we are talking about his name is Al Buraq. That Al Buraq was brought to the Prophet SAW. Okay, what is Al Buraq? Al Buraq simply is a huge donkey, but he is between the size of a horse and between, he is not a donkey, but yet he is not a mule, he is between. All right. Uh, so you can search for the same word you see in the screen as Al Buraq, and you will find tons of references speaking about it. All right. But let us show you at least one of them. Thank you for go for for the for the brothers who they are doing donation. We appreciate really. Thank you for the care and the help. Um, let us see. Read with me carefully here in this story. I was near the house, i.e. the Kaaba, in a state between sleep and wakefulness. The Muslim, they claim that Muhammad was not asleep. This is not a dream. They claim that this is was a fact. However, the story continues that they came and they cut the chest of Muhammad. They installed a dish of wisdom, a dish of, uh, uh, as you see here, they put a dish of wisdom and dish of faith. And this is very normal in the Middle East. Uh, as an example, the reason I am very smart uh, when I was a kid, my mom, she called two angels uh, of Allah and he sent them to my mom because she made a big donation to Allah and they made a surgery for me and they installed three dishes of wisdom and five dishes of intelligent. We paid for it. I mean, you get what you pay for, right? You are cheap, you get cheap stuff. So we paid for it. So here, the Allah, he made the same thing Allah he did to me before. He sent two angels and they made a plastic surgery. They installed a dish of wisdom and dish of faith for Muhammad. And then, Muhammad, the Jibreel, he brought a, a, a donkey, or let us say bigger than a donkey, smaller than a mule. It's called Al Buraq. If we go down here, uh, read, read with me carefully. I was then brought a white beast, which is called Al Buraq. Do you see it? Bigger than a donkey and smaller than a mule. And that, yes, that, that was Al Burak airline, correct. Thank you, Venice, for saying that. This is was the this is was the airline of Allah. Like you know, today you have a Boeing 777, Boeing, 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 you know. So uh, uh Allah don't have Boeing 777, he have Al Burak. So he sent his Burak, very normal. Uh, let me post the link for you guys, uh, for, for the person who asked me the question. And for you, if you want to save the reference, who want the reference? Anyone want the reference, or nobody want the boing boing boing? By the way, this is what happened to you if you take this burak and you fell down from the top of a burak, uh, you will not crash. That's what will happen. You will have a boing boing boing, especially if, especially if you are overweight. Hello. Ah, uh -uh. why don't you answer my phone now? Uh -uh. Uh, 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 what? Yeah, I put me on block now. Uh, uh, what? Who are you? Uh, I'll feed you the mangoes now. You are, you are putting me on the no block. Stupid idiot. I mean, where do those people come to me? Uzbek Ahmad. Baba Uz His name is Baba Uzbek Ahmad. Look at the name. I mean, the name alone is like a pizza delivery. Uh, 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 what, anyone, anyone knows what this guy is saying? So I was then brought a white beast, which is called Al Buraq, bigger than a donkey, bigger than this guy he called me, you know, uh, uh, Adam Bakri, bigger, bigger, really bigger, but not, but it's smaller than a mule, okay, bigger than a donkey and it's smaller than a mule. And by the way, if you maybe you ask yourself why it's not so big, it's just donkey between the donkey and a mule, because Allah he have a size a scale. He have like a. Uh, uh, airplane codes required by the government of Saudi Arabia so they will not allow him to cross the airspace if 
the mule is bigger or smaller you have to be in a certain size sorry and this is why that explain why the mule in that size uh, by the way if any of you would like to go to saudi arabia using al burak al rain please let me know what's wrong with the muslims today we cannot find one muslim smart to talk to me i'm so disappointed what i will do now i will do the same what muhammad did the inspiration of Allah stopped. He went to the top of the high mountain and he tried to throw himself from the top of the high mountain. Have you ever heard of a God? Choose a messenger. He want to throw himself from the top of the mountain? You want to go in a donkey? I can't give you my car. It's 10 years old. Do you want it? Do we have an Abdul? Don't forget guys, I have two links for you down in the info of this video. I made them for the Abdul in about the debate of uh, brother uh, David Wood. You know, some of you think that David Wood did not do good. I believe David Wood, he did good, but he was speaking to a bunch of kids, you know, who, who speak with no respect. They are trying just to make a mockery. And they may, you see, the best thing about Islam they try to make a mockery of you, but they mock themselves and they mock their prophet. Watch those videos and you will see that the Muslims in that debate, they made a mockery of no one except Muhammad and their God. Watch it and die laughing. It's a comedy show. You know? So, uh, uh, me, myself, you know, I, I, I don't know David Wood. I never met him. I never spoke to him. I don't care really who it is, but I, I know that this guy is doing his best. So, each one of us he have his own way to prove what he say but the problem is when you speak to those middle eastern muslims and i am a middle eastern you need to expect that those are rude they are not a quality people so in order to debate with them you have to fit in the category you have to be a long tongue person you have to be a rude you cannot be polite with those people. They are there not to debate you, but to make a mockery. This is why they will never debate me, because if they try to do that, what they did with him, I will crush them all in the spot. They take advantage of your kindness. David Wood, speaking as a professional, showing a reference, making quotation giving explanation what he got back nothing no reference you ask me about allah allah he said it's the scholar they say he have parts what scholars and the muslim like ha, 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 ha. watch my video and laugh he's making the muslims are making fun of their prophet because the one who said allah have parts is not david wood it's not even the scholars. It is Allah supposedly and he's a prophet who always ride a flying mule. No Muslim can debate us. It's not exist yet. They can make a mockery if you are kind. This is why you, you notice that the that as an example, he used always to avoid debating any Arab. One time, one time in his life, he made a mistake. He debated an Arabic Christian. His name is Anis Sharush. He debated him first time, and they scheduled a second debate. The agreement is two debates. The coward did that, did not show us for the second debate because he was humiliated. Now, who is the one who want to call me and tell me that the Garden of Eden is not in the Quran? Any Abdul? Yeah, you know, we, we are being good Christians by, by exposing the cult, not by being, uh, you know, uh, kind in the way like we, we let them go away or get away with their lies. This has nothing to do with kindness, my friend. But the problem is, some of us wanted to be in a certain form, 
you know we don't want to be ourselves so if I want to present myself as a professional person blah 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 then I should not say certain things but that will make you you know not really a real person I am a real person I say things you see I did I did a seminar in Texas just last last Sunday right you can ask the gentleman who who invited me there everybody in the church I don't know if any of you was there big huge church I spoke in the stage the same I speak here people they die laughing there was a guy almost falling down from the chair an African uh, 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 person very wonderful family and his wife sitting next to him he sweat he cannot even breathe I told them take him out the guy he might die here I'm not responsible for him they were dying so I am uh, the way I talk to you now I talk everywhere and they knew that and I told them I don't I, I am not politically correct I don't speak like a priest I am who I am that's it you take me you take me you don't want to take me don't take me and the reason they are laughing not because I'm funny but because this time is stupid all what you need to do is just put Islam in its place and everybody will die laughing say it as it is it doesn't hurt you as a Christian to say things as it is we as a Christian we should say it as it is when I say prophet of Islam I'm not calling him prophet he's a liar so don't be wary about saying a liar you are not you know some Christian they say to you oh you are offending people so what I am offending what's wrong with offending I am offended too but I accept that those people are ignorant they do not know when a Muslim he made fun of my Bible he called me names he say Christian and Jews they are corrupt Jesus is, not, is just a man this is all is offending how come it's okay for us to take it so we take it we receive it but we have to share with them the truth we just don't take it and say okay you are right we have to tell them we have to share with them we have to show them that they are wrong and there's only way to show them and the best way actually the best way to show Muslims how stupid Islam is is to show them how stupid it is not to tell them it's wrong which is exactly the way I do it this is why a lot of people who listen to me they leave Islam because they will start you can watch many of my debates with Muslims you will see the Muslims who is debating me he could not hold himself and he start laughing like crazy imagine he's a Muslim debating me to prove me wrong but he himself could not hold himself from laughing at his religion and my friend this is very important because if I can make you laugh at yourself that's amazing that's mean you are in the point of waking up that's mean you are in the point that you notice now how stupid what you believe in and this is why they leave Islam there's things you need to remember in order to be able to be to be qualified to debate you have to have knowledge you have to have courage you have to be a person who have a very high IQ and very smart and very fast your processor have to be in a speed of light then the most important you have to be confident with your face which means you believe in God and he is guiding you you don't depend only in yourself I speak and my Lord he speak within me sometimes me myself I do not know even how the answer is coming I don't even think about it I don't even notice how the question come and how the how fast the answer is and I don't think this is always coming from me Sometimes it's so fast to the point, me, myself, I get scared how fast it is. Obviously, my Lord is helping me. I am not alone in this fight. They try to play with your confidence. They try to play with your trust. I trust my Lord, I trust my belief, and I am victorious. You see when they have a storm and Jesus was with them he asked one of his apostles to walk in the water he start walking and then he he started drowning why 
because he lost the trust he was scared the second you are scared anyone can scare you have you ever seen a woman she is jumping over the chair because she saw a cockroach <clears throat> is that true you saw that right a woman she is five or six foot tall she jumped on the chair because she saw a cockroach when you are scared a cockroach will scare you which is a cockroach <laughs> a little rat will make you get out of the house it's a rat you the big you because you are scared a rat is scaring you so the second you are scared you lost are you getting my point the second you are scared this is why Islam used terrorism Terrorism for a very simple reason is just to scare you and the second you are scared you are lost Once I was in the in the Philippine <clears throat> And you know in the Philippines because it's a very warm area so cockroaches there they grow big So there's a there's a building and I'm waiting there They, they are buying some stuff the guys are with me and I'm waiting outside and there's a cockroach climbing the stairs The stairs is a lot of people going up going down. I mean like a lot of people but nobody's stepping on him and I was saying to myself hmm what this cockroach cockroach is thinking people are not stepping on him because he is big scary or because they are disgusted I'm sure he think that they are scared this is how those we deal with they think if I did not step on you not because you scare me I don't want to make my shoes dirty Some they are like cockroaches. They are low, they are trashy, they have a very bad language, they have a very bad manner, and they are not worse even to make our shoe dirty with them. This is why Jesus said, when you go to a town and you give them the word of God and they refuse it, leave them in peace and clean the dust of that town from your shoes. You don't even want their dust. Do we have any brave Muslim wanna call us? Any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul? Yeah, he you know he wanna teach David Wood the Hebrew. He don't even speak any word in Hebrew. Ruh, ruh, and ruh. Let me teach you Arabic. You don't know Arabic. You do not know Hebrew. And then he says. Elijah I mean his God with us <laughs> Elijah I mean God is us with us <laughs> uh. <laughs> anyway guys I'm not going to take any more calls from Christians please only Muslims call me if there's any Muslim want to call us anyone Do we have any Muslim would like to call? Again, I don't want to remind you, I have two comedy videos down in the info of the videos. Please don't forget to click on them and download them or share them with your friends in the info of this broadcast. All right. And especially Muslims, I want you Muslims to watch and be the judge. How stupid this guy hijab, how bad he insulted the prophet of Islam. He really humiliated badly his prophet. He made fun in anyone who believe that Allah has parts. He claimed that anyone who believe in that is stupid. That's mean he is insulting your prophet. For the one who taught that is your prophet, my friend. The one who taught that Allah have fingers, Allah have hands, Allah have foot, Allah have a, 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 a face is your prophet and the Quran. Do we have an Abdul? Anyone?
who is a Muslim would like to call me please may they may they what the, why God the created donkey well uh, as long as you are asking about why God created donkeys well we have a question to the Muslims regarding this topic you see Allah claim that he created the mule is that right And do we have any Abdul chapter 16 verse number 8 it says that Allah he created the mule Allah created the mule what do you mean who is the mule here and he has created horses and mules and donkeys Muslims Allah created the mules as I know a mule is about a sexual intercourse between a donkey and a horse it's not God that created the mule an animal called the mule what the Quran is saying that Allah he created the mules the Quran confirmed that Allah he created from everything male and female okay what is the female for the mule as long as he's saying he created the mule who is the wife of Mr. Mule any Muslim might tell us Anyone? How he say such a thing? He created a mule? Any Abdul here? Who is a brave Muslim would like to call us? Thank you guys for the donation. We appreciate it. Don't forget, please, to subscribe. And actually, I prefer if people want to make donation, they can make it through Batterion if you like to do so. Any Muslim? Are we done for today? May they, may they. May they. Any Muslim? But anyway, I'm happy that this guy, uh, 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 what his name, Bak Bak uh, Bakri, Amadou Bakri, Abu Bakri, whatever his name, I am glad that we able to talk to him and get him busted. Uh, you know, he was looking for it. I mean, he he died to the, to talk to me. He was dying to talk to me, and look what happened to him. It was your fault, my friend. No, I don't know. Nobody is. I, 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 here we go. My Skype is open. Who wanna call me? He can call me. Anyone can call me, but I prefer that Muslims call because I want you to see what Islam is about. If you call me, if me and you just talk, we will not really get the opportunity to see what this cult is about. When we speak to a Muslim, it's a golden opportunity to show you the two sides of the story, not one side, which is very important. All right, so uh, uh, we want Muslims to talk. And I'm not here to insult the Muslims. They insult themselves. You see, I have a lot of patience, honestly. But I cannot take patience no more with somebody playing a game of denial. I mean, I'm not going to waste my time. It's in the front of you. I'm showing it on the screen. And you say to me, it's not there. Do I agree, guys? Obviously, he's not being honest. There's no, there's no point of speaking to someone he have no honesty. I show him all the verses in the screen saying to him it says the garden of Eden there and he says he keeps saying that it's not it's not in the Quran I'm showing it to you how you say to me it's not in the Quran there is a, like a, a, a little requirement for decency in any conversation you know if you don't want to be decent in any way in any mean oh what you know do do you say it's not there I mean what the point of talking to you and this is why I prefer always to debate in the internet because if we are in a speaker corner I will say to him it's there he will say to me it's not there and now who is who, how we can prove it you know what I mean it's two guys shouting here we go we show them the reference in the front of their eyes and you see it all of you and still they are denying
you need to remember something the majority of the Muslims they don't debate with you they play games you might find a decent person who is a Muslim he is decent and this is what like you see the guy who spoke to me the one the young one he was being decent he do not know much he is not lying he is just being decent person he's a, he's a Muslim yes but he is not playing games the rest they love to lie you show them the reference you show them the screen you show them the proof you give them the link and still they say it doesn't say so you have to smash you have to corner you have to squeeze hard in order to make the, the mayonnaise come this is why we spend like 30 minutes about one word in the quran to make him at the end agree it says that like the guy who called me today you remember him the one who called me the, the one who's called he called himself muslima he called me yesterday watch the debate yesterday and love the same story we spend an hour or so trying to prove a point and at the end he agree any more muslims are we out of them all right guys i think we are done for today i want to say thank you may the lord bless you and i hope don't forget to 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 click at the link down in the info of the of the broadcast uh, download the, the videos and share it around and let everybody let the muslims especially the muslim to see that those guys who they think they are their heroes they are jokers and they are insulting their prophet they are going to make a lot of muslims leave islam because of their lies so uh there is a guy in the room he's racist against the black who is this guy what his name admin do you see somebody saying bad words for the black people who who is who is that guy what is his name please if you see anyone saying bad language for uh, 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 African please just ban him right away immediately you do not need to to look all right you are not welcome anyone is racist is not welcome a shoe of a black is better than your face I assure you that because if you think you are better than someone is a black because just because you have a, a different color that's mean you are a donkey and you're stupid color never make people better than people you know what make you better is you being better you are Asian you are black you are white who care only only stupid people they see themselves with the color smart people they see you with who who you are how 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 much benefit you provide for mankind what you can do for us what i would do with your color only stupid ones they are involved in racism doesn't matter if you are black or white or asian racism is from the devil is satanic is ugly it's a stupid in the same time anyone he believe in racism is garbage don't associate with him I have a friend who is a black person once I went and I thought I closed my garage my neighbor here I came back I found him having his chair in the front of my garage in the cold I said why are, what are you doing here he said well you left your garage open I was afraid somebody will get in imagine an hour I am outside doing shopping for my stuff and the guy is guarding my house what do you know about the black people there's bad there's good everywhere So if you please the admins if you see anyone making any racist shout doesn't matter who he is he making a shout against the white against the black against Asian get rid of him you are not welcome garbage in garbage out you know we don't believe in such a garbage same time Christianity Christianity is about loving each other we are united the Bible says there's no Hebrew there's no Greek there's no free there's no slave by who we are united by his name the Messiah you cannot be Christian and yet you are racist you cannot be Christian and you think you are a black but not a Christian or you think you are white and then you are a Christian we are a Christian and we are a human and that's what we need to know 
the rest is not important my color is not me me is what I do from their fruits you shall know them you see the Lord he made us different so we will be a different kind of delicious fruits in his table it's going to be very boring if all of us would look the same copy paste like bacteria. we are delicious fruit of the Lord many color many taste but all of us we taste good that what is important may the Lord bless you all and until I see you maybe tomorrow I, I will try my best to be on tomorrow until then I say Christ is Lord and Islam got busted as always don't forget to cut the video and cut the debate with those Abdul today we have them and pause them around so the people will learn and the world will see that Islam is a false religion and nobody ever can or dare to debate us God bless thank you very much Christ is Lord I mean to that bye-bye